Hello and welcome. Yes, yes, hello. So, a bit early. A bit earlier than um, the usual stream time. But yeah, so today I'm going to be doing a long stream. I don't usually stream for... Uh, usually I've been doing an average of four hours, but today I'm going to try and stream for eight maybe eight to twelve we'll see how long it go but i'm gonna do my best <laughs> hello pink good morning how you doing um so yeah so uh to start with today we are going to do art um this is plantos he's um probably someone that you've recognized from the channel he's uh, been following for a while he's in the discord and all that and he commissioned me for a png tuber model so that's what I've been working on. Oh, and you're here. Cool. <laughs> Good to see you, Lantos. Yes. Uh, so I'm going to be working on the model today. I'm hopefully going to finish it on stream. Um, since I'm doing a long one anyway, I'm just going to keep doing this, I think, until it's done or I get frustrated. We'll see what happens first. <laughs> but we're in the easy phase of the model now. So um, the hardest part of drawing PNG tubers, I think, uh, on a bus heading home. Oh, I see. Well, stay safe. If you put good, yeah, I um, I was good. I, I went to bed early last night. I went to bed at like uh, midnight. So I got about seven to eight hours of sleep. I'm good. Uh, anyway, so this is actually the easier part of the model. The hardest part is the initial sketching. Um, the first sketches are always really hard. Uh, you know, figuring out the anatomy and figuring out where everything's gonna go. From once the sketches are sussed out, it gets easier. So this shouldn't take too long. We have to color all the emotions. So we have our neutral expression here. Um, we have a happy expression. We have sad. And we have angry. Um, so it shouldn't be too hard to get all of these colored and then shaded. I don't think anyhow. We'll find out. Oh, that's the sketch. All right. So I have the original reference here um, of Lantos's character, and we're gonna mostly dap, um, color dollop from here and see uh, what needs adjusting, what might not, find out. So, um, first, let me get the files made. I have quite a few layers on this actually. I, I really cut up this model because it's so, um, it's very detailed compared to what I'm used to, but it was kind of a nice challenge as well. Um, I had a lot of fun doing this actually. So like the wings are its own layer, the thorns of the tail are no, their own layer, and the tail itself, um, arms, the torso, uh, the lower jaw, the glasses, the eyes, and the head. So I, I really cut this one up so it'd be easier to um, manipulate and adjust as needed. I, I was smart about my file management this time, so it wasn't as painful. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Let's get our colors somewhere. <sighs> I think I should... Um, instead of just doing like a full flat color layer, I think I'm going to attach a color layer to each uh, art. So like I'll have uh, colors unique to the wings and stuff like that. I'm gonna cut them apart. Uh, Capybara, hello, welcome in. How are you doing? Good morning. If it is morning for you, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's morning for me. All right. Yeah, so we're gonna try and get the colors as their own. So we'll make a file for it at least. And it has to go underneath all the line arts. So everything I have cut up into a layer will get its own color layer. Let's get these made ahead of time. I might lump the thorns and the tail together just to kind of make it easier. I had the thorns on a separate layer so I could 
pick them up and move them as needed because I noticed that on the model um, they're actually supposed to be kind of symmetrical to each other to like form like this arc around the whole tail. I actually so um let's see. Morning couldn't sleep. Oh I see. <laughs> well uh welcome in. <laughs> hopefully um hopefully your morning improves. Went to bed on time but Raven was still having issues and Coke got sick. Oh yeah. I'm sorry Pink. <laughs> I um yeah old old pets are a little tough. We love them, but yeah. Okay. What was I? Oh yeah. So when I was uh, working on the references, that was his reference. I actually straight up found pictures of the Hungarian horntail that his model is based on, which was kind of helpful. I uh, learned a little bit about um, how it all works off from this. It really helped me uh, figure out the head. Yeah, it was a lot of- it was really challenging to, um, do something more complex than what I usually try, uh, draw up. Alright, so we got the tails, let's do the arms. In hindsight, I should have made the controller its own layer, but it's too late for that now. And, um... Body? And the skull, I think we'll make a layer for the skull as a whole. And the eyes. The eyes should have their own color layer. My friend's made your Sona. Oh, cool! Yeah, it's it's really cool. I I really like your design altogether. It's very spiky and cute. Well, it's cute in its own way. I think. I don't know. I think everything's cute. But I can always find something to appreciate about every model. Um, I noticed you had the, the Ouroboros tattoo on your arm, which is really cool. It's a shame that it's on your right arm, which, being seen from this angle, it's kind of hidden. And holding the controller wouldn't see it anyway, but I like that detail. You have that IRL? Okay, there's all the color layers. All right, we'll start on the skull. Why not? Oh, oh that is a different thing. Our Doppler colors. Let's get our palette together. Maybe I should make its own layer of a color palette. Oh, maybe. Let's go. Some pretty decent sleep last night. Nothing too unusual or extraordinary. I mostly slept through Elk Girl and Seymour waking up. Usually um, after they get up and go to work I have a hard time falling back asleep but today they didn't wake me up at all. I must have been pretty exhausted. But actually waking up wasn't too hard. The cats kind of help. Um, cats get really fidgety <laughs> um, in the morning. And they'll usually wake me up, usually because they're getting into something they're not supposed to.
is a modified tattoo from the Seven Deadly Sins anime. Oh, I see. I haven't actually uh, watched that anime before, but I've heard good things. Or, I, I, was it the one that I heard? I've heard, like, some things about the manga versus the anime. But in general, I've heard good things about it. Chicken, hello, welcome in. Good morning. Do a lurk? Yeah, thank you for lurking. And I hope your D&D night goes fun. Whoops, I missed something. Oh, I see. There we go. Oh, I should probably have the paper turned off. Got any fun plans for the weekend? I'm doing a really long stream today and then uh, I'm gonna rest on Saturday while I do nothing. Or I might, I don't remember, is the farmer's market on Sunday or Saturday? Seymour wants me to take me, Seymour wants to take me to the farmer's market this weekend. But speaking of pink. Uh, do you have a favorite type of jam or jelly that you really like? The market has a lot of um, homemade stuff, which includes like homemade jams and jellies. But uh, I wasn't sure what you like. I said that I wanted to get you some um, local fresh made stuff since there's so many farmers in my area. Raspberry? Oh, I could definitely find your raspberry. They pretty much have everything. Especially stuff that you don't typically find in stores. Like, my favorite is blackberry. I love blackberry jam. Looks like your connection's weak. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I appreciate you for uh, trying to be here, Lantos. And I started today's stream extra early because I could have started my usual time, but then I would have ended up going really late. And um, I don't want to hog the kitchen dining area because um, Seymour and Hellgirl can't really use it when I stream. So I decided that I'd rather just start earlier and finish at relatively similar time. Finish at least before Hellgirl gets home from work or as soon as she does. Seymour said that when he gets home from work, he's just going to go and take a nap. of the uh the copyright music stuff because i was really craving listening to the pillows this morning and as much as i would love to listen to them drawing on stream i don't really want to get bonked when i upload the vod to youtube
Ja. Clara. Black Iris. Now, I think... You know, actually, I think I might have to cut this up a bit differently. Because uh, when his mouth moves... The entire lower jaw opens. I might have to actually put the color there for the jaw in its own layer. Shoot. At least I caught it now. I just realized that um, two of these spikes move with the jaw and two of them don't. Yeah. Alright. We'll fix that. coffee. Yeah, I've already had my coffee, but I might end up making more. Debating if I should make it iced coffee or if I should put it in a thermos to keep it hot. Spring is at that weird time of year right now where it's really cool and nice in the morning, but as it hits the afternoon, it gets overwhelmingly hot. At least in my house. Um, I don't have really good cover, tree, tree shade coverage. So, um, and the sun sets directly onto the big picture windows next to my computer desk. So, oh, it gets unbearably hot in the afternoon. But in the morning, it's all cold. I might go open a window. I'm not sure. It snowed? Oh no! <laughs> it's apparently likely going to snow for me too next week, I think. We're gonna get a cold front. of it though. Probably just this entire bit that's kind of arc this. That. Your earbuds almost died too? Oh no, are they like the, the wireless ones that go on a charge? I have a pretty good pair of those that I like.
fix the lower jaw thing. We're gonna make a new layer for that. I think I'm gonna actually pop it into the mouth layer. Yeah, eyes should go with eyes here. Older. Teeth open. I'm gonna make a layer for closed mouth color. Hello, welcome in. Uh, not good morning for you, I think. You're in Greenwich time, right? <laughs> uh, good afternoon. <laughs> welcome in. I am. Um, I'm working on a PNG tuber today. Um, I'm gonna do an extra long endurance stream, and I'm going to try and finish this model today. On oh, Girk Gal, hello. Oh, hello. Welcome in. I changed the channel point icon. It's nothing fancy. I, I was kind of like messing with ideas. The other one was just something I made in canvas, but I drew that stupid little thing. I was uh, experimenting with squishmallow designs, and I decided I hate drawing squishmallows. <laughs> so I drew the one and I threw it onto the plushy points icon and called it good. you in visiting stream. all oh, thanks. Okay. Now we have it on the proper layer. It looks like with how I have it positioned, it's going to color over. That would be a problem. Find out. Yeah, see, now it's coloring over the line art. That's not good. Here? Right. I see. Maybe I should put head up here? Looks great so far. Oh, thank you. It's, uh, yeah, I think it's turning out quite well. <laughs> I just started on the flat colors. Um, a lot of the late stage of making PNG tubers is like, um, file management and layer management. <laughs> so I'm gonna probably be doing a lot of file editing and, like, um, messing with the layers. Because I'm still coloring on top of the freaking line art. No, that's head blare. There we go. That's what I wanted. Fix that anti aliasing after I color it in. It's not the easiest to work with. <laughs> it was a challenge, but I did like it. I um, I always enjoy challenges and stuff like that. I'm still quite an amateur artist, so anything that um, expands my repertoire, so to speak, is always a welcome challenge. Kind of like a not. Honestly, drawing a shirt, I realized that I hadn't drawn clothes on any of my characters yet. <laughs> I uh I was like, oh, crap, holy crap, how do I draw how do I draw shirts? <laughs> I realized I haven't drawn any clothes before. So I actually found a reference to help. Where was it? What did I use? No, that's controllers. 
There it is. The shirt. I found a freaking shirt. I, I use this as my reference so I knew how to draw it. Uh. It's just attached to his lower jaw. When I open it and turn off that color, and then we'll have a different color layer for the open jaw. Whee! Let's do that now. the jaw opens the color layer is actually supposed to go on top of these lines so that even though when the jaw opens it doesn't show the intersection it's supposed to color on top of it so this is actually going to, have to go somewhere else the slaring. So the reason I want to stream is because I want to practice my English speaking. I think I can start streaming on May depending when I buy a mic. Oh that's cool! Nice! Yeah it's definitely a, a good way to do it because then you get to like talk to people and interact and whatnot. It's always a good way to uh, practice language. I um... I tried practicing Japanese for a few months. I got to like kindergarten level for a while, but then um, I stopped having a lot of personal time to work on it, so I stopped. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Pulled the wrong cord. Um, I ended up uh, I ended up stopping for a while, and it's 
kind of like one of those things, if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> so I, uh, I would love to practice again, but we got rid of our card table, which was like the big place that I used to like sit out my books to practice. I would have like my textbook out, my notebook, and like a dictionary and all that stuff. Oh my goodness. So now it's like a space thing. You can ask Hungarian words when they stream. Oh, nice. Heck yeah. Actually, uh, know very little of the language. Or when I say very little, I mean nothing. <laughs> intersecting onto that because that's the skull. Uh. Right? Where is that line art? Is that a skull line art? Head? Head needs to go above? No, oh, because then that does that. Annoying. I also have to be careful. words you can write here too well what's uh what's dragon <laughs> avoid this problem if I so my problem is that I need the colors to go underneath I need it to go underneath these line arts but it's over here it's going on top of it and I can't make the skull line art go on top because then uh, this section down here will affect it I can actually fix this problem If I change, if I move, no, then it's still gonna do it over there. Oh my god. I'll get it figured out. Dragon is, I wish I knew how to say that word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, thanks for the pets, Kirk. I'll, I'll be right back. Um, the house is getting kind of hot, so I'm gonna go open some windows real quick. And, uh, Probably get some cold water.
All right, and I'm back. Sorry about that, and thank you for waiting. Uh, Hungarian is the fourth hardest language to learn. Chinese, Arabic, and Japanese is the others. Oh yeah, I believe it. Japanese was pretty hard to learn, and I definitely believe that like Mandarin would be really hard. I've heard very little about Arabic though, so I'm not really sure. In fact, I, you know, surprisingly, uh, I believe the state I live in in the U.S. has like the highest percentage of uh, people who speak Arabic. Really interesting. Oh, uh, Roan Hill, <laughs> thank you for the follow. I'm sorry, you must have followed. Um, when I stepped away, but thank you. Okay, now back to this headache. I'm trying to figure out how I'm gonna layer the colors. Be really careful. Or oh. no, I do have an idea. I do have an idea how we can fix this. Melvin Dragon, hello, welcome in. Good day and good morning. If it is morning for you. <laughs> okay. So I, I think I have a plan. Now we're gonna solve this conundrum. So the open liner. No, it's the skull. So for the head, we're going to lasso this liner here. Copy it. I'm gonna import that onto the open mouth color. And um this bit of line art here. No, hold on. Drop that again. And copy. start to color one going to go underneath Surprisingly, there's, there's a lot of Hungarians in the US Interesting. I wouldn't know exactly though. Going over that. Oh, because so I'm on the wrong layer. Of course I am. better idea because the problem is that I need the colors to stay 
I need everything to stay really, really consistent when the mouth opens so we don't see any like uh, cutting or changes when the mouth opens. I like on my own character where even though I open my mouth and I have like um, the same exact thing where the lower jaw has a color leading down into the neck, um, the colors retain really smooth animation between them. So like it doesn't like cut or move or like look awkward. Uh, I need to achieve that here too. So I'm actually going to grab the closed mouth color layer. I'm going to copy it and we're going to port that down. Rename. Now this has to go here. Now the seam line between the jaw here is exactly the same as it was on the closed mouth layer. So that the seam line is not going to move at all in between the open and closed mouth frames. Now I have to fix all this. One of these days when I start making live 2D characters, it's going to be a nightmare. One day, one day, I plan to learn how to make live 2D models. <laughs> but I got to get good at the easy stuff first. And when I say easy, I mean that very tentatively. Um, making a good PNG tuber is a little, still pretty hard hard. But every time I do it, I feel like I learn a lot. Because trust me, uh, Pink's model is really good. Her, uh, 1.5. But her one point model, her first model, holy moly, did I barely know what I was doing. <laughs> the uh, the file management was an absolute nightmare. It's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> That's why when I made her 1.5, I didn't even edit the original file. I just redrew her from scratch. Hey, small, welcome in. Good morning. I have to finish getting the kids ready for school so you're lurking. Oh, that's good. Well, thank you for lurking. Yeah, you learn as you go. That's for darn sure. Yeah, because I learned even for PNG tubers, if you don't do your... If you don't cut out cut up the model if you don't cut up the model properly your first time like when you start all the line arts and whatnot it becomes a massive headache later when you have to like start moving stuff and coloring the only reason I'm able to do this at all like what I've been messing with is because I cut up everything so individually Ugh. there we finally Figured out the lower jaw. I have to do the inside. I was overwhelmed when I booted up the tablet trying to find where all the tools are. It is! Uh, if you've never touched digital art before, the first time you touch a tablet, it, it is overwhelming. It's hard. I, for a long time, thought I would never get into digital art. Now here we are. Um, 
need to take more line art from the head. I need to take this upper section up here so I don't accidentally I don't accidentally color over it. Just so we can maintain a really clean look. Got a copy here. Now, when I open mouth color, go underneath it. It's gonna be a fun learning experience. Yeah, fun. That's the word for it. <laughs> I believe in you, Pink. I mean, y you've watched my art streams. You know, you know how fun I think art is. Fun, having a great time. Obviously, if it wasn't fun, I wouldn't do it so much, right? Why are we still here? <laughs> Just to suffer. Exactly. Now, I find art really rewarding, though. That's why I keep doing it. Makes me feel good afterward. Only afterward. <laughs> the process is pain, but the result is wonderful. Although I think people say that about children too. Makes you feel accomplished. That uh, that good old self epicy. make the tongue kind of suss this out let's get like a really light pink for the um for the membrane here what is is there an official word for this membrane that like connects um on reptiles like right here is there a word for it Buccal something? Buckle? Do they? Okay, is it pronounced buccal or buckle? Or like a uh, cheek? I always said buccal, but I think it's buckle. Um, gums. I don't remember what's worse light colored gums or dark colored gums. I still need to get that thing on the right hand side that like um shows a broad display of the canvas so when I'm zoomed in really far like this um and still see what it looks like zoomed out on the corner I haven't done that yet because I keep forgetting oh no it looks kind of weird right Just me. Weird. Put the tongue colored in. Figure it out. We're back at color theory. My favorite. Wonder if we should do some 
dark lining. This whole the whole thing should be that color. Let's color it in first, and then we'll probably add some black shading into it. So this will be the temporary, and then we'll kind of work on it as we go. sure if the neighbors are gonna get really loud because they do have the windows on their side open or one of them open but if you hear um, really loud incessant coughing like somebody's dying outside don't worry they're just smoking weed <laughs> I don't I don't know why but uh, once in a while, like, um, one of the guys next door will come outside and he'll be coughing, like, he'll have a massive coughing fit. And not just, like, a cough. It's like he's trying to vomit cough. It's really bad. Oh, hey, Kuma. <laughs> Hello, thanks for uh, stopping by while you work. Um, yeah, he'll come outside and it'll be like a... <laughs> it is so bad. And it's loud. You, you ever hear of dad sneezes? This guy does dad coughs. Um, it sounds like he's coughing up a lung. And then you get, just get this really strong smell of weed. And I'm like, I don't, like, I've never smoked weed, but I don't think, I don't think you're supposed to cough like that when you do, right? And, you know, smoking weed's making you cough like you're dying. Maybe you shouldn't do it. Just a thought, you know? Just a thought. Might be bad for you. Right? Your lungs probably can't handle it. You should just eat it. <laughs> just eat it, dude. That looks bad, so we're gonna work on it. Start with some black lines. I'm gonna re use the rest of your data because <laughs> that's tomorrow. Well, thanks. Yeah, I um, thankfully I don't use too much data anymore these days. I'm always home. kind of like fat. I can't believe I said that it'd be easy to just slap down the, the flat colors and call it good. Such a fool. I can't believe I didn't think about... I didn't know how I was gonna shade the mouth. I 
propel it back. better we're we're starting to fall onto what I'm looking for not there yet though better after we get into the shading bit. Good work. black on the top layer and more pink on the bottom. subscribing oh hello eight months holy moly yeah thanks for the pets <laughs> sorry that i'm doing eight months here we go yeah here we go <laughs> yeah thank you oh dang it's been eight months since i hit affiliate then huh oh boy <sighs> that means nine months of streaming ride I um a year ago I don't think I would have been a streamer kind of wild huh yeah I think eight months oh, a year ago from now I didn't even think I was ever gonna stream <laughs> I didn't truly start deciding I wanted to become a streamer until like last July I think it was in July and then I debuted in August <laughs> yeah look at me now hey <laughs> I really do be like that. Didn't get the notice? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, Twitch is like that. 
at this point, honestly, Discord alerts me better than Twitch ever does. Because, like, if I have my phone, um, if my phone is, like, off, so to speak, like, the screen is black, I won't get notice from Twitch. I'll, like, turn on my phone, I'll pick it up to, like, look at Twitter or something, and then Twitch will give me the notifications, like, all at once. And it's like, bro, excuse you? Anyway, I think we did it. I think we are finally figuring out the draconic mouth. <laughs> At least for now. Um, as always, it always looks better after you shade it. My line arts will always look really good. And then I put the color on and then it looks like crap. And then I shade it, and then it looks good again. <laughs> How it always goes. Alright, there. We finally got it. Uh-oh. Why are you doing that? on top of oh you're on top of the head there we go mm. I see what you're doing When I upload the PNGs, I can just erase this line and call it good later. That's... That's a headache. I don't want to touch that. We'll fix it in post. How are you doing this morning, Ice? Is it usually more busy for you closer to lunchtime? I would assume so. Doing good? Having some downtime? is on off and on yeah i assume it's one of those things where uh when one person decides they want to order doordash everyone starts doing it because everyone has the idea at the same time <laughs> do i have a guilty pleasure food item it's donuts <laughs> hard and simple it's donuts This is bologna? Really? Bologna? I don't even think bologna is that bad for you though. How is it a guilty pleasure if it's not bad? In a bump? Ooh. I also really like Reese's. I'm a sucker for Reese's chocolate.
Popcorn? Real, popcorn's not a guilty pleasure. It's not bad for you. Unsalted, unbuttered popcorn is actually a really healthy snack. I'd like popcorn more if it didn't get stuck in my teeth. Just do my coffee? Oh yeah. Well if you put two four tablespoons of butter, <laughs> then it's guilty. Exactly. I don't really eat buttered popcorn. I don't really like it salty either. Actually, my favorite type of popcorn are is the uh, the white cheddar. I love white cheddar popcorn. It's put nutritional yeast on their popcorn? I've never heard of that, actually. I eat popcorn pretty much every day. I used to, too. I like bologna is parsi? Or parsier? I, I don't know. I don't know why we name it based on Paris, but we do. <laughs> did it folks an hour in and I colored the head <laughs> oh why am I like this also Paris's parties I don't know <laughs> oh you love this yeah it looks pretty cool it's uh Lantos's PNG tuber making it for him <laughs> taking my time. Yeah, it was mostly just sussing about the layers. <sighs> Alright. That's head all taken care of. Now let's do the body. So let's color in the arms. Oh, what color do you want your controller to be, Lantos? I didn't ask you. You like a gray controller, white, black, or like some kind of pretty color? You want to jo join the voice? Uh, probably not. I um, I keep the the voice stuff to like specific people. Though I do understand why offered. I think like the only people I don't know I I'm not sure <laughs> it's for the pet size you have a gray camouflage controller so gray would be perfect do you want it just gray, or do you want me to try and camouflage it? <laughs> I'm not saying no, I'm just saying that'd be hard. But... Gray is fine. <laughs> Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll go with gray. Pink, you'll you'll be there one day. <laughs> you'll be there one day where your uh, 
and commissions for people. And sometimes you like read something and you're like, oh, oh no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Not that I mean as an insult to anything, but kind of like a, well, this is gonna be a, a challenge type of run. We're we're doing some learning. We're gonna learn today. Like how I did with your uh, color pattern. Oh my goodness. Today, no commission. See, you say that too. You say that now. Say that now. I once said that. I said, oh, I'm just doing art for fun. I'll never take commissions. And then people start asking you if you take commissions. then you're like, but what if? <laughs> but I do like it though, like, doing missions kind of lets me uh, learn and experience things that I wouldn't always draw. You know? I've never drawn a spiky dragon before. Uh, for your character, I've never drawn... I've never colored a character with like color blending in that way, especially the eyes. It was hard to learn how to do your eyes. Things like that. So in a way, it kind of like uh, helps you expand on yourself and what you're capable of. Okay, hold on. I remember the palms of your hands are a light tan color. So we'll get the brown put down. And then I'll color in the palm. I'll, I'll add the color to the palms on top of it. You think of a cute TTS pet to calm you for. <laughs> yeah, you could. I think I only charge... Is it $20? Yes, I think I charge $20 for that. Because um, it's part of my PNG tuber commissions, but because there's nothing really added to it, it's just the flat rate of 20. A flat rate PNG tuber from me is $20. Everything else comes from add-ons, like expressions and stuff. And oh, speaking of plushies. Okay, so um, the raffle that I was hosting on Twitter has expired. Um, the tweet isn't is scheduled to release at two o'clock, but I mean, y'all are here on my stream, so I might as well like announce it but I did uh shoot I did the drawings for the winners last night and uh <laughs> Mr. Lantos here was very lucky he was one of the winners so he's gonna get a plushie model too well, not a model but he's gonna get a plushie <laughs> so uh he won that part of the raffle and the second winner was uh possum you know drunken possum which is great because um, I love Possum's character. It's super cute and I'm actually really looking forward to drawing him as a plushie. It's going to be adorable. So uh, Lantos and Possum won the raffle. And um, I also have now opened up the commissions for that plushie model. Uh, it's on my Kofi page now actually. Uh, hold on. So on my Kofi. Uh, the commission form is open for plushie uh, artwork now uh, in that your character here and it's only ten dollars because it doesn't move or anything it's just the picture um, so yeah ten dollar plushie <laughs> I 
once the tweet goes live, I'll uh, advertise it on Twitter of cheat. I know I should. I know I should charge more for it. I've seen other your character here go for more expensive, but I'm trying to like. I'm still so new. I have to kind of go cheap to cultivate like people who want to commission me. If that makes sense, it's hard. Starting out is really hard. I always like new artists always severely undercharge. But, I mean, $10 is better because I was considering 5 initially, and then I'm like, no, no, because I thought about how long it takes me to actually make the plushie, and I'm like, I'm not going to charge $5 for, what, 3 to 5 hours of work? goes all the way up to the under nail. Nowhere near the top though. Gotcha. Okay. Job. Oh, I'm sorry, Pink. Your job could be digital art. <laughs> um, I mean, you could try getting like a part time at least, so you still don't get too burned out from uh, streaming and all that. Because full time work and streaming is is hard. Like, shout out to the people who can manage that. That's tough. I did it, and it was wearing me out really hard. Mostly because my job itself was really hard. Oh god. We're not talking about my old job. Hi Plop, welcome in. Uh, good afternoon. How you doing? You uh, looking forward to your weekend? Alright, I think that looks good for the palms. I think that's uh, adequate coloring. It looks pretty... Accurate? I think that's accurate. For what we see. And this is the forearm here. Warm outside and I don't like it. Uh, you like cold weather? I think I prefer cold weather to hot weather too myself. Um, I always say it's a lot easier to bundle up than uh, strip down, quote unquote. <laughs> you can only, you can only accommodate for the heat so much. Yeah, Friday fun time. <laughs> yeah, it is already Friday. I hate all weather. Aw, I like um, I like a partially cloudy day with a cold breeze. You get like a warm sun and a cold breeze. I love it. Yeah, fall is wonderful. I like autumn. And spring. I think I prefer spring only because um, that's when the sun is hot and the wind is cold. For me, autumn is way too rainy. It rains a lot in the autumn where I'm at. My autumn is not pretty. My spring is much prettier. <laughs> but that's a regional thing. Ah, oh, allergies, right. Yeah, I'm not allergic to flowers or pollen, so I guess... I guess I luck out on that, don't I? I thankfully don't have any allergies. Okay. There. 
Oh wait, hold on. If the arm on that side is twisted like that, I should probably put some of that lighter coloring here. Because this is twisted. the tail. I'm saving the shirt for last because I may or may not keep the blue. I like the blue. It is a nice shade, but we'll see. We'll get everything else colored in and then we'll figure out the shirt. Am I on the layer check? Oh no, do I need to layer check? <laughs> you are right. I was drawing on a wrong layer. I labeled this body, but I shaded in the arms. I'm just gonna rename it. <laughs> this is arms now. It's fine. It's salvageable. I got it. Do I need to make that a redeem for art streams lair check? <laughs> make it one point. The nails. Or in the nails. Good morning, Ryan. How you doing? Um, I'm definitely fine. Definitely, definitely fine. colors the horns. Now if the nails are this shade of brownish gray I might have to make the controller kind of a dark gray so it doesn't bleed into each other. fall back asleep. Ah, oh, well, with this kind of lo-fi, probably. Alright, so we'll make the controller gray, and then we'll make the buttons black, probably. We'll just make the full thing gray real quick. Fill in the black parts. God, my phone is blowing up. Better not be Seymour sending me YouTube videos. more just putting a bunch of YouTube links in the chat, as always. A few days ago, Seymour's like, did you see what I sent in chat? And I'm like, I don't know, you just put links in there all the time and you don't tell me what they are. And he's like, you don't even look at them? And I'm like, Seymour, every time I open that, it's always like some kind of 
AI generated Eminem rap, okay? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna open every link you put in chat now. Twice this morning I got a video from him that was just a freaking Eminem uh, AI generated rap. He's obsessed with it. Before that, it was Dragoth Ur. Like five videos of Dragoth Ur AI. Gonna send you a kawaii TikTok earlier. Oh shoot, I haven't been on TikTok in a while. I know a lot of people end up in the uh, the TikTok scroll pretty easily, but I really don't. I uh, actually don't end up browsing on my phone all the time very easily. I don't, I don't know what it is like. I get bored of being on my phone easy. Even on like TikTok or YouTube. I think it's because I don't always like just sitting and watching things. It's why I like video games and reading so much. I like to feel like I'm interacting with my media. So, um, I don't really get stuck watching videos very often. I usually click away eventually for something. There you go, that's not too bad. It always looks better once I get the shading on. Oh, hell girl! Hi! You almost on break? I read the title is P... PNG tuber corn. <laughs> PNG tuber on the cob. All right, there we go. Now the tail. It looks like the underside of the tail is light colored, but we're not going to see that here. This is just showing the back end of the tail. I'm kind of worried about what the tail and the wings are going to look like together. So I may or may not end up just taking off the tail completely. Depends on how it looks colored. Got home, nice. Glad you made it all safe. Oh. That was a hearty crack. Uh, Mushi Draws, hello, thank you so much for the follow, I appreciate it. Oh! Oh yeah, hydrate. <laughs>
What am I dr what am I drinking? I got plain water and what's left of my morning coffee. So I might brew more later. I'm still undecided if I'm gonna make iced coffee or just put some in the thermos to stay warm. Thanks for the pet small. I'm a happy camper now that I've got your coffee and much pinky art. <laughs> Aww. Glad. Oh, girl bought some uh, hazelnut creamer, I think, which is interesting. I haven't drank coffee with creamer in a very long time. Maybe I should do that. Hazelnut just smells really good when it's on coffee. You have a new drink at work that's a spicy V8 juice? Really? Huh, you like it though? But yeah, you like tomatoes and spice. You gotta get your tea left on the counter. Yeah. What kind of tea do you got, Mushi? I really oop. Something. I really like uh chamomile. I think chamomile is my favorite type of tea to drink. Fill it in. What did I miss? Looks like I got the whole thing. What the heck? Clearly I missed something. I can't fill it. <sighs> Alright. Guess we're doing this the hard way. all the spikes. I'm glad you do. <laughs> no, I like the spikes too. It was just really hard. I've never drawn so many spikes before. Just got green tea for the caffeine since, uh, yeah, coffee would have too much, huh? Yeah, usually when I want some pep, and I want tea. I'll usually drink uh, black tea. A little bit of honey. I like a lot of types of teas. There's a really nice, neat uh, tea shop nearby where I live that does like loose leaf tea. Really good. But it's getting to that time of year where I'm not sure how much hot tea I'm going to be drinking. I'm going to be switching to iced coffee until winter. You don't have a posture check? Um, my posture's okay. Um, I now drop my chair all the way to its lowest setting, so I'm almost chest level with my drawing tablet right now. <laughs> I'm very low on my desk, but when I do that, I don't have to shrimp to uh, draw, so I'm nearly straight backed. I just have to lean forward a bit to uh, reach my desk, but I don't have to bend over to touch uh, to like drawn it anymore. I haven't ventured past green tea. I want to get off those really nice tea from China, like the pucks and stuff. Ooh. That sounds fun. Yeah, I'd say if you really like green, uh, chamomile is amazing. I love chamomile. We throw shrimps at ya. So Lou actually asked me where I was getting my uh, 3D assets for the throwing system because she wanted her shrimp check to throw shrimp at her. And I sent her the website I use as a source to find a lot of assets, but neither her nor I have been able to find a shrimp 
which is just criminal. Maybe I'll have to like commission a 3D artist to make a shrimp asset. That'd be great. I would love shrimp check to be throwing a shrimp at me. They already have the hydrate to throw water at me. Which, by the way, has anyone been able to read the bottle yet? Oh, yeah, that. It goes really fast, but it it says stuff. <laughs> Touch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Uh huh. <laughs> the little shrimp emotes. Those are cute too. Oh. Oh, I'll do a stretch anyway. I have a I have a shelf that holds my consoles underneath my desk so I can at least prop up my feet under my desk. That helps too. Oh yeah, the, the new plushy point icon. I did draw something for it. It's okay. It's just a, a little... You can kind of tell what it is. It's a pinky squishmallow. <laughs> Badges are hard to draw. Things get so, so small that they lose quality really fast. I was drawing an emote yesterday because I've been I'm working on drawing a lot of new emotes for the channel. And um, I was working on one yesterday, oh! and uh, it wasn't going too good. Like, it kind of looked okay in most of the phases, but as soon as I colored in, it just lost so much of it. It didn't look good, so I had to scrap it. I'll have to try again later. I just got mad. Kind of looks like you swallowed your tail. What, like the Squishmallow? Round. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be busy. I'm gonna be busy too uh, with more art as well because I believe Bonds is going to be commissioning me soon for a reference sheet. So, still gonna have quite a bit on my plate because I'm gonna have the reference sheet and then I have the two plushy raffles that I have to draw. I got a lot. Doing okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks for checking on me, Hell Girl. On the bright side, the emote stuff isn't like time sensitive, really. I don't plan to release all the new emotes. Uh, so I'm making. Gosh, what am I doing? I'm doing like three follower emotes, two sub emotes, another animated. Um, a 1k bits tier emote, because apparently I have people who have donated 1k bits before, so I might as well reward them with an emote. The 1 bit badge, a 100 bit badge, 1k bit badge, and then I'm going to make uh, new sub emotes. So, all of that, can I do animated? We'll find out. <laughs> can I animate? We'll find out. Um, but... Um, I'm saving all of these updates for when I re-debut in 3D. Um, but the sub-badges, so right now I only have one sub-badge, it's just the little round plushie. But I had an idea of making, uh, tiered sub ones. Okay, not like tier 1 and tier 2, but like, uh, one month subscriber, three month subscriber, six month, you know, those, uh, landmarks. I'm going to make uh, bit badges or badges for those now. 
because I have a cool idea for it. <sighs> Finally on your tablet. Gotta go eat something, but I want to... But can I join a voice now later? Oh, no, uh, probably no voice for the stream. Not for that, I don't think. But yeah, I um I got quite a few ideas in the works. Okay. No burnout. Yeah. Like I said, at least the sub stuff is like um is that time sensitive really? because that's not until after I re-debut. And my 3D model's not even done yet, but it's getting close. Um, Bubblegum Bark, um, they finished the weight painting, so to speak. So it adds like flaws and physics to the model. So that got done. And now they're working on my accessory assets, which are the arm and leg bands. And the expressions. It's coming with quite a few expressions too. I don't remember how many. I think it's like six. So I'm gonna get like six expressions and that's what they're doing right now. I'm hoping it'll be done before or like at the end of the month. So I'm anticipating my 3D debut to either be at the very end of May or in June. Somewhere between end of May to June. Weather's pretty bad here. Oh, I'm sorry. It's really nice here. Okay. There's tail. All done. Boy. <sighs> now the wings. Alright, so wings. We got brown for the bones. And then the light tan for the webbing. I'm tentative about how these wings are going to look colored in. Because I'm going to be real with you folks. I've never drawn wings like this before. <laughs> it was completely new. Uh, shoot. What did I even use as a reference for this? I had a reference. I had this reference. What else did I look at? I looked at something else. There was like a... This? Oh yeah. And then I was looking at this. So... Yep. I'll, uh, I'll let you know right now, Pink. Uh, when you're learning how to draw, Pinterest is your best friend. Or uh, looking at reference ideas. I have like entire boards full of just reference ideas. Like either anatomy or poses or specific parts of bodies that I'm not familiar with drawing. Your concept came from Pinterest? I think I remember that. I think I remember you showing me your ideas, like the things that inspired you for your character. To be honest, I'm not sure really where my concept idea came from for my character. I think I knew from the start I wanted to be a pink dragon, but I think I- I think Yoshi was actually a really big inspiration. That's why I got the big nose. 
So the big nose came from Yoshi. The hair came from my Reddit profile picture. I don't know about the horns. I don't know why I decided on... I, like, I honestly can't really... <laughs> I don't even know how to, like, break it down for people for why I look the way I do. It's hard. Let's just say Yoshi. That was my biggest inspiration. I love Yoshi. Ever since I was a kid. been I don't know I feel comfortable with it I like the way I look like dinky was good but I like my new look as well the only reason I changed it is because I wanted to be a bit more expressive so adding expressive eyes and ears was mostly just for that like that's honestly that's the big reason I got the ears so that I could be more expressive It's hard to be expressive when you're just like a dinky little thing with beady black eyes. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Dinky wasn't that bad. She is missed. And she is still loved. I just grew up a little bit. Now we have a bone here and a bone there. Please, God, don't look bad. At least the wings are a big surface, I suppose. I'm just praying that they'll look good. I'm gonna have to figure out how to draw you as a plushie. Somehow this will translate into a very cute stuffed animal. I'm sure of it. <laughs> I can do it, I believe in myself. <laughs> hey Ray, welcome in. Good morning. How are you doing? Well, technically it's noon for me now, but yeah. Yeah, good morning. I'm uh, doing my best to get this spiky fella looking good. Nine a.m. there. Ah, uh, so you're on the um, west coast. Yeah, I'm on the east. It's kind of the shame about like uh, me kind of starting early for me because um, I'm technically the earliest time zone in the U.S. So when I start early, it's like too early for everyone else. On the bright side though, I suppose it works out for the folks uh, much further east than I. I had confidence you got the plush. <laughs> Got the push. It's already 6 p.m. for you? Holy moly. Right, because you're a lot, um, you're a lot more east than the UK.
Same time zone, gang. Oh, you're in that time zone too, Plop? What is the time zone name for uh, Germany and Hungary? I have no idea. I don't actually know a lot of time zone names. Besides the ones in the US, I only know JPT and GMT. I think GMT is, it's called Greenwich, right? British time? Is that GMT? I could be wrong. I just know it's called Greenwich. I really like that word. How you doing today, adorable dragon? Aw, thanks. I am, um, I'm doing pretty good. Um, I'm gonna hopefully stream for a long time today to celebrate... Celebrate 200. <laughs> it's an endurance stream for me. I think my longest stream ever has, was like uh, seven and a half hours, so I'm gonna go longer than that. So I'm gonna try to finish this PNG tuber today, and then afterward I'm gonna play some Pokemon. I've even heard of CE. <gasps> Shoot. Jungler. Thanks for the congrats. I, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it too. I feel like um, I'm getting getting better. I'm learning a lot and I've been having a lot of fun like meeting new people and making friends and all that stuff. It's been a really enjoyable journey and I'm really excited to uh, keep on keep on keeping it on. I was gonna be be here like a year ago as a streamer. <laughs> Bones are fine. I don't like this. I don't like that. I have to fix it. Central European time? Oh, okay. That makes sense. Thank you. <laughs> Your cute, genuine old stall. Thanks, Ray. That's really sweet of you to say. I, uh, I am doing my best. You're gonna make me cry. You're being nice. <laughs> I'm always nice. You are nice. <laughs> when I'm not being lewd. <laughs> You're right, I've seen your stream. I still like him though, it's very fun. You have fun streams. Oh my goodness, the butt wiggles! <laughs> Those are cute! I was thinking about getting a butt wiggle emote, but I'm not sure. Did I get a butt wiggle emote? Yeah, like the rainbow cat. I love the rainbow cat one. Light Yeen made them? Oh, cool. They did a good job. As a format save, it makes them easy. I'll have to consider them then if I end up looking for someone to commission for a butt wiggle. 
I could do the butt wiggle, but I, like I said, I'm a little apprehensive. Elk girl tells me no. She says I shouldn't do it. <laughs> Apparently it's easy. That's good. I was thinking about um, replacing my uh, glow sticks emote. My little pinky rave. I was thinking about replacing it. It's like it's good. But I have some better ideas. Um, definitely, I think I was gonna replace it with a car caramel dancin. I wanna do. I want a caramel dancin. Yeah. I think. I think it could look good. Those are glow sticks, exactly. Right. <laughs> I think it could be better. Uh, cause um, pink. Pink's artist did a really good dancing emote. This one. I like that one a lot. And I was thinking about commissioning them for Caramel Dancing. Uh, Pink, it's a uh, it's a dance. It's, I'm pretty sure you can look it up. It was a big uh, animation meme for a long time. Eat sticks of uranium? Maybe? Do I eat uranium? Yeah, early 2000s weave dance. It was. It was everywhere. I'm pretty sure if you saw it pink, you would know. I thought there was silverware! <laughs> As if I need silverware to eat my own tail. Boy, the size of these wings are mighty. Yeah, I don't like... I don't like what this is doing in color. I might have to fix it. I have to change the line art. And I might add some bold details. I knew it wasn't going to look as good in color. Not even shading is going to save that. Fine though, that's why the wings are on their own layer. So I can adjust them as needed. Early 200 Roman soldiers all hitting that caramel dancing after battle. Get out. <laughs> and despite a lot of these colors uh, kind of sh like uh, bleeding into each other, so like how the tail and the wings kind of share the same exact colors. It might look better later when I do the shading because then they'll add a bit of texture. So it'll separate all of this because I'll likely have um, a bunch of shadowing on the wings so they don't blend with the tail. Did I keep the tail? Do you think it makes it too busy? I like the tail, but it doesn't make it too busy. Yeah, I was wondering if uh, the tail was too busy, like if it, I don't know, <sighs> it's hard. 
Because I drew the tail first before I tacked on the wings. I almost wonder if I did the wings first if I would have decided not to do a tail. But I like the tail. Like the tail itself is really cool. I'm just wondering if it plays nice with the wings. We do have to fix this bone here. I think that does need fixing. So I'll get that in a second. Let's finish coloring the wings, then I'll make adjustments. There we go. That's better. <laughs> I uh, I realized that the webbing was the wrong color. Got it. Actually, it looks a little bit better now. <laughs> First, I was wondering. It's like, why is the gray blending together so badly? Ah, uh, it's because the webbing's supposed to be a different color. That makes better. That that makes more sense. <laughs> At some point in a few hours, I'm not sure when, but I'll probably take a quick like snack break because I have weak little morning tum and uh, I'm really, I don't have like a good appetite when I wake up in the morning. So I always have to like be awake for like a minimum of three to four hours before I'm even hungry or can handle food. So at some point I might step away to eat. Looking good? Good. I'm glad that you like it so far, Lantos. I don't know, I have a weak stomach in the morning. Everything just doesn't smell good to eat. Like, I'll drink coffee just fine, which is fine anyway, because, like, coffee's something of an appetite suppressant. But at some point, 
I'll, I'll actually feel hungry. think Lantos um I'm looking at your wing here this section that part of your wing do you want me to adjust that part of it or are you okay with it I think says the same thing yeah there's some people who just don't handle food well in the morning coffee smells good it is and it, yeah, it does suppress your appetite. I love coffee smell. Especially if I put that hazelnut creamer in it. Even if it's going to be a pain. Oh, that means I'll have to fix that on all the emotion. That's okay. Oh. Milk chocolate? Like normal milk chocolate? Heck god, hello, welcome in. Thank you so much for the follow. And the pets. down with space and we're gonna curve it off I believe I did this at 10 thickness I'm trying to remember Milka is a Swiss chocolate brand oh I've heard good things about Swiss chocolate I don't know if you've heard but a lot of chocolate in the US kind of sucks Reese's. Reese's is good. <laughs> I'm not a fan of Hershey's, to be honest. I don't really like Hershey's. So if we curve the bone like that, now let's try adding color on. Fix it. an appointment. Thank you for lurking, Small, while you're off for, on your appointment. the bone look better. Now I kind of want to add some details to the webbing a little bit. I could have done that at seven thickness. Milka is with the purple cow. Purple cow. The only purple cow I've seen was like ice cream. Right? Purple cow and ice cream brand. Red Canada chocolate. Your stomach didn't like it. Oh no. Your stomach doesn't like a lot of things, does it? I'm gonna DD some chocolate milk. Rhyme! Just go to the store. <laughs> Just drive.
Nice, it's too bad that you don't live in Rhyme's area. I think Rhyme would pay your entire paycheck every day. I, I think I think he would be all your business. Then I can't take your stream with me. <laughs> that looks not as good, actually. Go back. <laughs> Reverse. I mean, less is more. Problems the thickness, sure. Thicker looks a little better. I think those wings look better already. Improved. Love it? Good. I'm glad. Okay. Now we gotta do the shirt. I think let's try the default color that you got going on right now. I do like that color. I know you said it was up to interpretation. But I like it because it's very contrasting to the rest of your design because you you have a very you have a lot of earth tones. So blue is a pretty good contrast. A cold color would look good against all this brown to stand out. be pink if you want. <laughs> I could make it pink. <laughs> I'll color it in blue first. I've never had any official art training, so to speak, or any real art classes, because I feel like I'd be a lot better at color theory if I've ever had any professional training. And I think art college would be very expensive, as much as I think I would like to try it. My sister was actually in a lot of like gifted, gifted art stuff. Um, I don't know if she got part of it as a scholarship or a grant, but she definitely got some special attention for her um, artistic abilities back in high school. Because uh, I mostly grew up with radioactive grief. I mostly grew up with my dad, and she mostly grew up with our mom. And my mom, our mom, was much more, um, what's the word I'm looking for? She was much more encouraging and allowed for a lot of room for growth and improvement. So she nurtured, that's the word, she nurtured my sister's artistic spirit a lot more than my dad did for me. 
So when um, she was in school and all that stuff, she got a lot of practice and a lot of like uh, special stuff. I know she went to a summer camp for art education before as well. And my mom would buy her a lot of uh, supplies and whatnot. Spent a lot of money on art supplies for her to help her learn. I mean, it's all good. Like, past is the past. I'm not gonna complain about it too much. But, um, mostly the point is that my sister had some formal art education here and there. And she was much better for it. Shoot. So she's a lot better at um, traditional arts than I ever really got practice for. She could do like a lot of sketch stuff. Um, I remember she did an entire piece of just stipple art. So what she did is that she used Q-tips on paint and she just dotted everywhere. Dots, dots, dots. And she made an entire picture out of Q-tip paint with dots. And it was very, very good. It looked good. She did a lot of... Uh, weird stuff like that that ended up looking really good. Uh, I know- didn't she do wood burning at some point too? I could have swore she did wood burning at some point. I don't know. She's done some really impressive creative stuff. My mom's house is full of a lot of her art. And now, that's not to say that I couldn't start. I mean, you can start at any age. But I think... Yeah, so... I think I'm really enjoying digital art, so I think I'm okay with pursuing this as my medium. I don't think my sister's ever touched dig digital art. I bet she'd be good at it too. And if I could afford it, I would love to go to like art school. I'm doing this. <gasps> That's why it's doing it. Wrong lair. to make a lair check redeem. One point, and it's just like a really loud air horn in my ears. <laughs> ah. Skull, mother. I love art. I love being an artist. This is my calling in life. This is what I want to do. Art is my passion. Yeah, it is. Art is my passion. This is... <laughs> I love it. <laughs> w used to troll. That is true. Maybe... I don't know. Ow! Maybe it wouldn't be an annoying sound. Oh! Goodness. I want to finish this shirt so I can go potty. <laughs> All this... Hydration. Now the question is, do I make iced coffee with hazelnut cream? Or do I crack open my monster? <laughs> or should I save the monster for later? Iced coffee? Yeah. I could save the monster.
Thankfully, uh, so I actually, I don't have like um, a coffee pot. I have a, it's not a Keurig, but it, it does um, coffee in single cups. So I, uh, I fill the little cup at the top of it with my ground coffee, and then it'll pour out exactly how much water that I put into it. So if I fill up my coffee cup and then I pour it into the, the coffee machine, it'll spit out exactly what I put in. And uh, so I make cups of coffee in singular units. So, and it also can cold brew. You can cold brew my coffee. I can do that. Okay, now the buttons. I think the buttons will be black. Buttons are usually black. I think on the reference, are they... They're blue on the reference, but I think we're going to try a dark black. Or, okay, not dark black. Dark gray. Oops. That's definitely not a bad color. I like it. It's also slightly desaturated, like the rest of the color palette, because I think if we used a really saturated color, it would stand out too weirdly. I also kept the button-up shirt, because I know, Lantos, you said that um, I had free reign on the shirt, but I ultimately decided to keep the button-up because um, of the glasses. I think it complemented the glasses a lot. So you're like this you're like this badass looking spiky dragon, but with a sophisticated look. <laughs> a sophisticated spiky dragon. I like it. I painted a dragon once trying to find the picture. Ooh, you should like post it on your art uh, your art Discord. Okay. Um, but if we were to play with different colors... <laughs> this. Ah, look at the pink! <laughs> a, a, a darker desaturated pink. That's also kind of cute. <laughs> I do like the blue. The cold, the cold blue is a good contrast to the brown. All right, I have to BRB again because y'all been hydrating me too much. What goes in has to come back out. <laughs> every time you hydrate me, every time you hydrate me, we advance the BRB by like five minutes. <laughs> too much water. My belly is small. I'll be right back.
And I'm back. Sorry, sorry about that. I um, I got the coffee maker brewing. I'll probably grab that in a little bit. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I also ate half a brownie. Oh my goodness, ice! Y'all are just trying to bully me. You don't care for my health. This is bullying. You're turning something intended for... Oh, hey, Lantos. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> You're turning something that's supposed to be self-care into something that's mean. And I don't appreciate that. <laughs> Got a drink with your brownie. <laughs> thank you for subscribing, Lantos. That's really sweet. I appreciate that. <laughs> hmm... <laughs> Wash it down. I'm brewing coffee. Thanks for the fat, Spinky. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> you deserve it. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet. You guys have, uh, you guys have always been very generous. I appreciate that so much. I'm glad that um, I can provide entertainment and joy for folks. That's what I set out to do when I became a VTuber. Okay, so flat color is looking good. We fixed the wings, but because we adjusted the wings, that means I'm gonna have to uh, change the line art on the other emotions. But that shouldn't be too hard. That's why I put things on different layers. Um. Now we got the mouth open functioning, right? Yeah, except we'll just have to erase that one little line when we upload the PNG. But I think the mouth open looks okay. I'm only subscribed to you and Papa Mutt. Oh, I love Papa Mutt. He's cool. He's very funny. Well, that's, that's really flattering. <laughs> I, uh, there's a lot of people I want to be subbed, subbed to as well, but it's hard because, you know, there's so many good streamers out there and it's hard to support everyone that you care for. Alright, mouth open looked good. Um, now eyes closed. Alright, so we have to make sure the closed eye has color too. And instead of making another color layer for the closed, I think we're just gonna color over it. Or no, we can't. Duh. Duh. I can't believe I thought about that. Color layer. Here. I wonder how many layers I have on this model. Is there any way to see your layer count? I don't know what my layer count is. Color. Now when the eyes close, we have that filled in. Nice. 
Nice. Others are gifted. Yeah. It's also really sweet when people give out subscriptions, too. So neutral expression is done. I'm trying to look over it. I think the neutral is done. Now instead of like starting the process all over again when we do happy, um, I'm actually going to just grab the entire color layer folder that I made and I'm going to port it onto um, the slayer and then adjust it as needed. Now the happy expression doesn't change too much. It's mostly a facial thing and then when he opens his mouth there's like an extra thing. So this one shouldn't be too hard to adjust. So tool. This up to happy. <clears throat> and I'm gonna have to grab some other things too. Oh yeah, see, uh, I, since I changed the line art, I'm gonna have to actually port over the new wings too. About that. So, we'll open up line art, our wings. We're just going to delete that layer. I'm gonna go to back to neutral. Our wing. Yeah. So we're also gonna lasso and copy these wings. The new wings are over. The only layer I'm gonna have to move the wings on is the sad layer. The sad expression has the wings drooped down. Alright, looks like I also have to port over my lower jaw shenanigans that I had to mess with. This part's not very fun to watch because this is all file and layer management. Get recognized and get gifted subs. I heard that works. What do you mean? Oh, do you mean like if you're a regular in a chat, someone gifts you a sub? Is that what you're talking about, Ryan? Oh, <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. mouth color that needs to be ported. The lack of sleep is catching up. Oh, I'm sorry, Pink. You can take a nap if you feel like you need it. 
I bet the lo fi's not helping. Lo fi makes me sleepy too. I could play some bangers, but I don't want to mess up the audio quality. <laughs> and I also want to be able to upload the spot to YouTube. Electro <laughs> swing. I have jazz! But like I said, I already have the audio set up for the lo fi. I think it was, it was hard to sub. Didn't support Google Pay anymore? Oh no! That sucks. I'm sorry, Lantos. You like jazz? I do. Wanna watch and I'm having fun, but chopping up dog food is a challenge today? Alright, oh, yeah. Your, uh, your old puppies. Your old puppies need special food. PayPal too. That's good. Uh, we're thinking. <sighs> this is the part of the process where I start to daze out and like get lost. Because this is less art and more just graphic stuff. Okay. So this. Bleeding in front because you need that line art ported over too. Gotcha. Fix that. So, uh, I did some shenanigans with line art, didn't I? No, I did that with something else. Heck. Okay, hold on. I can fix it. So you're bleeding over because your lair is set above head. That's what's happening, isn't it? I think so. Head. Move it up here. That fixes it. Um. Now, eyes. This is just, um... Happy Lair doesn't have open eyes, so this is just color over color over on the head layer. Just for the mouth, because I'm doing a bit more of a smile here. Colors all that. mouth color. This is right here. So the upper lip is part of the head line art. part of the what are you this upper lip what layer are you <laughs> oh no find it so much for clean mo file management not on head what are you Yes, they're named. 
It should be on head. Why is it not? And also, what is this? Where did this come from? Fake artist. Unsubbed. Unfollow. <laughs> what did I draw you on? You're not even in the line arts. Hello? What are you? You're not in line arts. <gasps> You're in the sketch layer. Are you kidding me? Wait, because... Uh, sketch layer. I did have something I didn't really name properly. But... Found it! Alright, we're gonna rename this, like, upper lip or something. Okay. At least I found it. The upper lip will have to go... Somewhere around here. So now, when I do my coloring, it's not going to interfere with it. Got it! Ugh. Don't you want to make PNG tubers one day, Pink? Doesn't this look like a good idea? <laughs> Joking aside, I actually really like making PNG tubers. Why I've done it so much. <laughs> Why I've made a few of them. I'm uh, hyping myself up for learning how to do live 2D. Gotta start somewhere. But this is all the head. No, oh, that, that. Colors. want to make animations. Yeah, that also sounds hard. Uh, Clip Studio Paint can animate. Pro. This is a uh, Clip Studio Paint Pro. I don't know. Okay, that's colored and proper. Now we have to get the closed. dragon. Oh, doing a smile. Oh, I wanted to put, make this a little blushy. <laughs> um, or should we make the little blushy? Maybe we can take over the colors that we're using from the mouth layer. Let's open the mouth and then we'll come up with a color for it. Turn 
all that off. That is the open mouth. Now, I suppose I should pour over the open mouth layer from the line art. Also, where did your eye go? Why is your eye attached to the upper lip? You know what? I don't care. This one is fine. This one doesn't blink. Alright. So. Go back to neutral. Open up those chompers. We're gonna port this over. I'm gonna port over three of these layers. make sure this is named properly otherwise it's gonna have funny names on the side so we got open as correct this would be named like lips yes I'm gonna rename this layer lips that's what I'm using it for Now, when I copy these layers, I'll actually know what I'm grabbing. Three. Copy. be adjusted a little bit. You know, a while back I was thinking, huh, do I charge too much for um, adding expressions? And then like once I actually start doing the expressions, I realize, no, this is actually really hard. <laughs> Editing for multiple expressions actually does take a lot of time. Especially for a pair of chompers like these. Oh. oh, that was weird. Okay, now port. The problem is that this up, no, it's not that. This? Because the mouth moves, we'll have to change it a little bit. Didn't it? 
positioning different. extra set of teeth come from? Why is that there? Where are you? Oh. Oh, I know why you're there. See if I can get away with not using it. see what's happening. You need to go all the way up here. Sorry, like I said, this part's a little boring because it's all just file management. top of the lips I because this upper lip layer needs to go higher yes that's why are you here you know if year ago me wouldn't have expected to be a VTuber. Year ago me definitely wouldn't have expected to be doing art. On stream no less. Echo, hello! Welcome in. How you doing? Are you uh are you working today? Friday. Yeah, happy weekend! Excited? Got anything fun planned? Finishing the day working at home. Oh, cool. Well, that's nice that you can uh, work from home a little bit. Me too. <laughs> I work from home. I like it. <laughs> there we go. We did it. <laughs> oh, we ported and we got the, uh, the expression over. Oh, God. Man, look at that dirk mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I love this one, it's so fun. Oh what, like this this uh uh character model? Yeah. It is pretty cool. Meant to do a wink wonk? Wink wonk! Wink bonk. The expression, and yeah. Yeah. And like I've kind of said before, this this little bit that's sticking out right here, we'll fix that when we do the um the PNG port. I'll um I'll just erase the line when we do PNG port when I open the mouth. If I erase it now, uh when I close the mouth, it won't be there. It'll look weird. Now unless I grab that and put on a different layer, and I don't want to do that for a single line. Ain't no one got time for that. Alright, so as for the blushy, we'll grab from here maybe. Put that on to full. There we go. 
cute. I wonder if I should change it a little bit though. I could either have it as a little circle or I could get rid of the circle and then do like a little thing like that. That might look cuter than the circle. Do that on head. What what layer are you on? Little little blushy. Not on the glasses. Not touch the eye. What are you? Where are you? Okay, you're in the line art folder. I'll find you. You're attached to the mouth. Why? Why are you in the mouth layer? You're attached to the up. Oh, I see why you're like that. Sure, why not? I'm sure past Pinky knew what she was doing. <laughs> right? No, nope, we're just gonna trust past Pinky knew what she was talking about. blushy on there. I go back and grab my coffee. Grab my coffee real quick. It's just on the counter. I might have some cream or two of it. Um, did 
you guys know that if you cold brew coffee and then you put powder creamer into it, it doesn't work? <laughs> I like... I got the- I got my cold coffee, and then, um, I realized, oh, the creamer Hellgirl got was powdered, not, um, not like the- the milky one. And I, like, I poured it in, I looked down, I was like, wait a minute, this isn't how this works. It only wor powdered creamer only works if the coffee's hot! <laughs> no! I can't- <laughs> So I dumped the coffee. Which means... And we're, um, we're drinking the monster. <laughs> oh no, it all went wrong! Yeah, I had to dump the coffee. <laughs> I learned a valuable lesson today. I didn't remember! I don't, um, I never use creamer. Much less do I ever use powdered creamer. Why'd she get that and not like the milky creamer? Disappoint. Okay, I can try again later. Touchdown to the mouth layer, but I'm actually gonna grab this and make it its own line art. <clears throat> and we're gonna call it like exclaim or whatever. Erase exclaim. Or, no, we're gonna hide exclaim. Erase this. I'm actually going to border this in white. I don't know how much border it's going to need, though. Let's see. <clears throat> we'll play with it. I'm trying to remember how to funk with this. The way to get the color to appear on top of the border. Oh, I remember how I do this. So we're gonna grab exclaim again. I did this, I did this method with uh, saber stickers. I blush too? Yeah, when you're happy. Your happy emotion has a little blush. We're gonna copy this again. Again, and this is going to have the border off. So that goes on the top, border off, and then in between the two exclaims, it's going to have the color. We're going to make that like a nice yellow color. Now it goes, it doesn't go on the black line, but it'll go over the white. And that's how I get a perfectly symmetrical border around a line art piece and be able to fill in the center. Because some of the hard part about getting a border around a, a line is making it like parallel to it perfectly. But I kind of figured out a way to kind of like, uh, Bless myself around that. Uh, I had to do that for Saber. Like I said, every commission kind of teaches me something new. Now we have these little exclaim marks! When he talks, when he's happy. 
And when we throw in background, we'll make sure that it looks really easy to see. So let's try like something dark. Let's throw down a really dark background. There. So uh, they'll have little mark white marks around them so that it'll be like good and easy to see. And when he's in a lighter, a light background, you have a black mark around it. So it'll always be really, uh, it'll pop. It'll pop really uh, outwardly. I'm kind of doing a bit of a bumpy there though. Why? Oh, I know why. The one unfortunate thing about um, copying layers is that they kind of like lose quality as you copy them. So it's doing a bumpy. I can fix that though. bit more clean. It's not perfect, but honestly, we're not going to see it too up close, so I'm not worried. I don't expect people to zoom in like, like, yup, yup, yup. Yeah, bad artist. <laughs> okay. I think Happy's done. Holy moly. <sighs> Good thing I'm doing an endurance stream today. I was like, yeah, uh, Art's not gonna take the entire endurance stream. I should think of something I'm gonna do afterward. Three and a half hours later, I'm still doing art. <laughs> yeah, we'll start with art. <laughs> yeah, we'll finish this on stream. We are. We are finishing this today. Boy. Boy. Ask for more words in Hungarian. I wouldn't really know off the top of my head what to even ask. My brain's full of colors and lines right now. Not really words. No, don't move it. This mouth folder is very big. Got it! Save that beach. Whole stream BR. It could be! I I am I am doing this until I finish it. <laughs> 
Oh. Buns! Hi! Hello! Welcome in. How are you doing today? Ev don't worry. Everyone else has been trying to hydrate me too. <laughs> I have not been dehydrated. That's done. Now we do it again. <laughs> we do it again, and we do it again. I feel like sometimes when I do PNG tubers, I'm like in purgatory. <laughs> it's like, oh, you just finished coloring this entire layer? Do it again. I think he is Rosa Zim. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> I recognize Rosa. I'm glad I ever noticed how dehydrated you are. I'm not. I'm very full. Full of liquid. But I am so sad that my cold coffee didn't turn out good. I, um... I had... I had a... Mm, I had a bad experience with my cold coffee because dumb dumb brain forgot that um, dehydrated creamer does not melt in cold coffee. So I had powder coffee that I had to dump. Okay. Uh. Man, I haven't even done the shadings. This is just a flat. Although I'd argue shadings is a little bit easier. Key water balloon merch one. Well, um, the new plushie points icons, not a bad, not a bad one. Uh, it's a squishmallow pinky. First things first, before we pour over the wings, I have to delete these because I have to do new new wings. We'll grab them from the neutral. has new wings. Make sure that they're in the right spot. Why, are you, why is the line art interfering with the head when the wings are all the way down here? Don't make any sense. Oh, duh. The head's moved down. Expression the head is bowed down a little bit to look sad. But what happened here? Why are you missing? Hurt you. Obviously, it was me, but why? has more letters than the English one. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised. Crack in my neck too. Finally done with doggos next dishes. Oh no. You have to do dishes too. I did a massive house clean yesterday so um, today is just streaming. Uh, I don't have any chores to do. I cleaned 
everything yesterday. I said relax, but I want to get cleaned up for the weekend. That's true, because I know uh, Ice takes... Ice, you take uh, Saturday and Sunday off from work, don't you? It's easier to relax and do nothing when the house is clean. Another appointment today at 2? Oh god, I hate days where you have multiple appointments to see. They're the worst. ADHD's worst nightmare. Color folder over again. <laughs> hey, we got some things to move. I almost wonder if I should just recolor the head instead of messing around with moving it. It could be easier to just recolor the head. That's on skull, right? For one, get rid of that wing color just so it doesn't distract me. As much as- as easy it would be to just like simply change the expressions and call it good, I do kind of want to at least have the expressions have a little bit more personality to them. So I usually will move the entire head when I change expressions, kind of like my own model. Like, um, that's- this is just my neutral. But when I get sad, my head goes down a little bit. It bows up and down. And uh, for angry, it goes forward and the ears go up. So I do try to move the head a little bit when I do um, when I do expressions, just to have a little flavor added in. Instead of just changing what the eyes are doing or just changing what the mouth is doing. Even if it's extra work. But, I don't know. <sighs> so yeah, his head's bowing down a little bit when he's sad. I think when he's angry, it leans forward a bit. Yeah, the angry expression has it uh, leaning forward and up. Like, he's indignant. <laughs> yeah, it was hard moving a head like this, too, because of all the spines on the head. I had to, like, separate the neck from the rest of the skull and all that stuff to move it properly. And then you have to make sure that transitions nicely too. Um, because you're going to switch between expressions, so you want the movement to look natural and smooth, at least as much as you can between two frames. So, it, things like that. It's still pretty amateur in terms of um, model making. But, like I said, this is a lot of practice for me for when I try to learn Life 2D. I would love to learn how to do Life 2D. Maybe one day in the future I'll be one of those people that can do art and rig the VTuber. One day. Okay, so... For the skull... Let's turn colors off of everything else so it doesn't distract me. <laughs> and I have to move skull independent from the neck as much as I can. In fact, I could probably just. No, at this point, recoloring would probably be easier than trying to line up all these spikes. Yeah, we'll recolor. I'm not I'm not messing with trying to move this thing all like, like 
Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's the wrong layer. <laughs> it's going to be a hassle to try and move this thing into the right spot. Get rid of it. Color it back in. I can handle it. I'm a big girl. I don't know if it's... It might take longer, but... Uh, it's going to be less of a headache. Gary and Alphabet has 44 letters. Oh yeah, some of those are kind of like um, what I've seen in Spanish. But I also recognize some of them from like other languages. I don't remember how many characters the Japanese alphabet did have. Because I learned all of the hiragana and katakana. And then I was starting to learn I can still read Hidigana and Katakana. I was kind of stuck at Katakana though. I never got really good at it. Okay. Lower jaw might have to be its own color layer. Right, that is a thing. Does the side look pretty? Good. I think it's... Oh goodness, ow, that was bright. It's a bright blue sky outside. There's not a single cloud. <laughs> pretty peaceful now, but as soon as the neighbor kids get home from school, it's gonna get loud. Again, like I did yesterday. At least I didn't hear any incessant coughing this morning. That's an improvement. Thing hurting worse than my back is my wrist. I need to do wrist stretchies. Weather's well, nice on your end too. That's nice. Good. Uh, a lot of places are getting spring now, except for the upside down. <laughs> it's autumn in the upside down now. Buster check, yeah. Back is straight. Uh, legs propped out. Touch the rainbow. <laughs> Taste the rainbow. <laughs> the legs are propped out, picked up. Gotta keep my wrist all loosey goosey. Alright, lower jaw should have its own color layer. 
so let's grab that. We'll port over the open mouth because that one was very annoying to make. Don't want to do it again. All right, bunch of pissing around the lips too, didn't I? I should probably do that again. Grab higher upper lip there. Not on the mouth. This is part of the head. to pick a clouds oh that's right you posted something in your discord earlier i saw that and i forgot look if i could find discord hello <laughs> that's weird it's not on my oh there you are I like that a lot. I like that. Very pretty. I never really painted before. Gotta go. Work is cutting your lunch short. Oh no. Well, thanks for stopping by, Bonds. And uh, hope the rest of your work day goes good. Post a pic of your clouds. Is it in your Discord or mine? Oh, mine. Oh, there's a purple cow. Oh, yeah, those are pretty clouds. Yeah, that looks nice. Should copy the lower jaw color and bring it over. At least try that. Wrong thing. Mouth right. closed color. Oh. 
fairly close. colored back in Maybe for the angry expression, I will just try to move it. Try. switch from lo-fi to jazz. Maybe. Lo-fi's nice, but I think after a while the um the beats, I think, start to grate on my ears a little bit. Like it starts to sound harsh. I can't always listen to li uh, lo-fi.
Okay. The head is colored in. Oh, gotta do the eyes. Here should be lined out in black. I think I'm gonna change that. Um, change the color of the tears. Okay. Oh, that's really bright. Get desaturate there. Big, you wake up, Wong. Ah. <laughs> Monster, become the monster. Become the monster. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. Um, I think the line's really bright, and then oh, oh my god. Crying, I'm just low on steam. Yeah, it's because I still have like a whole nother expression to do and I still have to do all of the shading. Feel good, but makes makes butt hurt. 
I need num num probably. I have to I have to get my knees up on the chair and shrimp to get weight off from my butt. <laughs> But okay, we got the flat for that. Now we have to close the eye. Call the slayer tear color. closed. Now the hard part. We have to open the mouth. Glasses. Why are glasses right here? Why are glasses in the mouth file? Excuse you? Oh gosh, I'm not saying that. <laughs> stepped on a hard task. I feel like that. I stepped on something hard and turns out it was a dragon. If that's where her mouth is. Where the heck is the closed mouth line art? Oh, there you are. Gotcha. Open it. I'm gonna pour it over the open one. Literally means you put your axe in a big tree. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You ever cut down a tree before? My dad uh, used to have a wood, a wood stove to heat the house, and he used to chop his own wood. He would cut down his own trees and chop his own wood. We're gonna grab the open mouth color. Do we need the lips? Try just the. Oh. We're probably gonna need the lips too. Yeah. Okay. Grab this. Copy. Together.
Gosh, I think that's the closest I'm really gonna get. Tweak it from here. Stop looking at my axe. <laughs> to get this to line up really nice again I had it before. Hard. Accurate that was. I'm not sure if Plushy Bot can speak Hungarian. Not really. <laughs> he did his best. It's fine. I don't think Plushy Bot's really good at speaking in general. Unless it's apparently Warhammer and Halo scripture. He's great at that. I can't figure out how to make his mouth.
clear check. Shrimp check. I have to shrimp if I want to take this pressure off my butt. Clear check seems to be doing okay though. I think. Don't quote me on that. Touch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Over that, what the frick is that? Part of the head, isn't it? The all stream we get to see the behind the scenes yep sure do don't ya hey riello thank you so much for the lark yeah that's uh, the fun part about streaming all this be the suffering suffering behind the pink out okay.
Okay. That one's on. One more. I think I think we're ready for angry expression. Got the wings here. I think the other layers had this. I had a color. I have a color error. Good job, Pink. You're being so productive. You lost internet? Oh, 144 mobile data. Oh no. You won't even be able to see the art. I don't know why, but I always... I only lose internet when Pink is streaming. Like, I don't really lose my own stream ever, but Pink streams at like the worst possible times. It's like... She only streams during like the high traffic time periods when uh, everyone's using too much internet. So I always cut it out. I, I always either lose internet or she always loses internet. <laughs> you need a new stream time, Pink. She does it on purpose. I know, gotta keep us on edge. It's how she keeps us all roped in. That's that. Now I gotta do angry. Hmm. This one probably won't be too hard. I don't think I twisted the head very much. I just leaned it forward a lot. I offer five expressions in my PNG tuber pack. Like, four already is so exhausting to do. I think for my PNG tuber, I have five and it nearly broke me. I was gonna have six and I just never finished the sixth one because I hated it. Because <laughs> I got sick of it. Now you got a shower. Okay, you cleaned the house and now you're gonna be clean. I would stream a different time, but then I wouldn't get couldn't mod for her. Oh, yeah, you're right. I would mod for pink. I mean, or you can just stream without a mod. Like me. <laughs> I don't have a mod. I am a mod. I do my own thing, I guess. But I also have ex access to, like, enough computer screens that I can just... I don't know. I have my own stream preview up, so I can just, like... Uh, ban or timeout on the fly as if I need to. It isn't really not really a problem. Hmm. Okay. Ugh. Go again. I did copy that that color folder, right? Right? I do. 
Oh no, I selected it, but I didn't copy it. Gotcha. Copy. She could, but I would be sad. Aww, that's true. Yeah, I, I stream when Hellgirl... Because now Hellgirl works 12-hour shifts, so she doesn't really... I don't know. Hellgirl and Seymour don't watch my streams anyway. <laughs> Hellgirl pops in when she's at work because, you know, she, she can. But when her and when her and Seymour are at home... I don't know. I don't know how much Hellgirl actually watches. I think she's always just in the other room. She usually falls asleep. Seymour usually sleeps too. They don't watch me. <laughs> so I, I kind of handle it all on my own. Yeah, uh, look, you got a good chat too. I was watching a stream last night and this morning, and there were band I'm out every two minutes. Holy moly. Was it like a big streamer? I know for the bigger streams, it can get a little chaotic. I, I had a chaotic chat once, uh, Monday, and it wasn't too hard because, like, I do stomp down pretty hard. Like, if someone, if you were, oh my goodness. Yeah. yeah, when um when people give me guff, I uh I don't have any problem stomping it back, and I I will just ban people off um bad vibe check. <laughs> I, I have no problem with it. Yeah, I guess when. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where I get from here. I could always mod for Pink too if she ever needs it. I thought about asking her to mod for my channel too, but I don't have a problem with it yet, so it's not necessary. Hold on. I, have, I remember I have to pour over the wings. Good thing that I don't mod for anyone else though, maybe. <laughs> I think I'm mean. I think I might be too mean to be a mod. <laughs> because of because I have such a low tolerance for bullcrap. Maybe I wouldn't ban people outright, never without permission, but I probably would time people out. But I'm pretty grateful that most uh that the folks who watch tend to be really good. A lot of you guys are really nice and I really appreciate it. I like the um I like the good vibes and the laid back and all that stuff. It's the time out hepster. Well yeah, because of all the, the language stuff. Like it's English only, bro. It, for me, and that's the thing, because like I am a little mean. Uh, if that was happening in my chat, I probably would have been really firm about the hey Keep it to English. This is an English stream. See, like, Lantos talking about Hungarian is totally different. That is completely different. But just constantly Google translating and dumping the language into chat, that's aggravating for me. So if someone did that repetitively and I said, hey, stop, and they kept doing it, that might be an instant ban from someone like me. But I don't know. Like I said, I'm a little mean. And I kind of feel like I have to be because if I ever, I don't know, I don't want to get walked on. I've had some, when I very, very first started out streaming, I caught a little stomped on. I got a little stepped on, so to speak. And it just really threw off my game. So since then, I've wanted to be a bit more serious about setting my boundaries and sticking to them. I don't want anyone to think that I'm like gonna be lenient or uh, give wiggle room and stuff like that because if I I don't know I feel like if I get too weak or show too much weakness 
it'll cause problems down the line. But it's not like I've really had problems before. I think I've only ever banned two people. Mostly because, like I said, I keep my boundaries very firm and strict. And I don't... I don't... I'm not lenient on it. And I don't really have to be too strict anyway, because, like I said, a lot of you folks are really awesome anyway. Like, uh, I feel like I have a pretty good community so far. And it helps that a lot of my community I share with, like, other streamers that I like. Because, um, you know, I, I like to watch a lot of other people and interact with other people. So when viewers kind of get shared in between streamers, you generally kind of know the vibe. And it kind of keeps your community, uh, I don't know, not rowdy, I suppose you could say. Kind of like how Pink and I share so much, uh, share quite a bit of an audience and stuff like that. Because Pink also has like a good crowd. And uh, Lou. Lou has a good crowd, and I share some viewers with her. Things like that. So thankfully, I haven't had to be really mean. I've only had to be mean on stream like twice. Rowdy like Ryan. To be fair, uh... I don't know. There's something about being in Ryan's stream. It's what you call the, the chat reflects the streamer. <laughs> also, Hellgirl and Seymour don't help because uh, they they watch Rhyme and they are they're trolls. Hellgirl and Seymour are trolls, <laughs> which maybe that's why they don't watch me. They can't troll me like that. All right, this is turning into a just chatting. Uh, actually, no, that's not that's not true. I'm just trying to take a break from drawing. I've been drawing this picture. I've been working on this for four and a half hours. is a time-honored tradition. I mean, as long as it's relatively good-natured, like, there's mean trolling and then there's fun trolling. There, there is a significant difference. Uh, Hellgirl and Seymour know how to troll a person to a way that's like, it is fun because they're messing around and they're not trying to hurt anybody with what they're doing or saying. Whereas some people do it just for the pure action of being hurtful. And I don't think they ever intend to hurt anybody with their jokes. Uh, Tiki Girl, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. I remember back then, so uh, I think one of the very first streamers that I ever watched, like started watching and every day, so to speak, because I didn't get into watching uh, live streams until... When was it? Maybe 2017-ish? 2017, 2017 to 2018, I can't remember. Uh, the very first Twitch streamer I like, started like watching every day was uh, Kub Lakan. Uh, he's pretty small, he streams off and on, he kind of takes long hiatuses here and there for his mental health. But I really liked his stuff, he was really fun and enjoyable. And uh, that's back when Hellgirl and I had very similar usernames. We had like the same- cause she was like- she's Hellgirl1029, right? My old username used to have like 1029 in it too, so we would like, um... Most of the time when we popped into someone's chat, they kind of understood that we were there together in a way. And I remember when the first time we watched his, his stream, he was playing Bloodborne. And he, uh, later he said he was worried that we were trolls because um, we were kind of like joking around a little bit and we had similar names. But he said he was pleasantly surprised that we ended up being pretty chill. Because <laughs> he never played Bloodborne before and we were just kind of like chilling out and um, just offering like tidbits of advice here and there. There's a fine line to walk between uh, backseating and just being friendly about help if someone needs it or even asks. 
stuff like that, so it was really good fun. I remember that. I remember it fondly. But yeah, Hellgirl and I used to um, meet new streamers kind of like that. We'd pop in at the same time and just kind of like joke around and have good fun. close. A little off because they moved the neck separate from the skull, but we can fix that. Like telling Rhyme to do something in Elden Ring, knowing it'd kill Rhyme? I don't do that, but Seymour does. <laughs> Seymour absolutely does that. And then hitting me with a Innocent, innocent little ice. I don't know what you're talking about. Ice is nice. <laughs> ice is nice and innocent. I feel like trolling can walk a fine line. It is. It is a fine line. Because you don't always know a person's attitude or what their mental state is in. So you have to have some kind of like social maturity. You have to have a level of social and emotional maturity to friendly joke with strangers. If that makes sense. Uh, social intelligence as well. And social intelligence is hard to learn. Like, it's something that you have to really practice at and learn to do. And even then, like, you're never perfect at it. I sure as heck am not. I try, though. Like, I, I try to learn how to be better at communicating with people and all that stuff. Especially now that I stream, it's a lot more important. Well, there's a homeless, harmless trolling, like, hey, if you stand on Dee's body, you can hear him breathe. <laughs> I mean, and the thing is, like, for you, that's pretty harmless trolling, but for some other people, that could be considered kind of malicious. I don't think I really troll, uh, you know, I don't troll people at all, actually, I don't think. Because even when I'm in your chat, Rhyme, like, I know I could joke with you, but I don't troll you. Just because I don't think I really have the heart for it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Oh yeah, especially uh, text. It's always hard to read emotion and text. I get that too. I try to be somewhat good at being able to uh, convey meaning through text, but being able to read it is always a challenge, no matter who you are. It's already 2.30. Seymour's gonna be home in like half an hour. Oh no, Alistair's walking his way over. That boy! Hi kitty! Alistair comes to see me once in a while on his own. He's a hulking lad. He'll come over and he'll tap on my, um, my handle on my chair for you know when you pull the handle so you can adjust your chair to drop down? He'll come up and he'll paw at it and tap on it to get my attention. And I give him some scratches and then he'll leave. Comes over to say hi. He's lonely because Hell Girl's not here. I did drink! I took a drink! <laughs> I did! I'll do it again. You more bringing food? Eh, probably not. Hey, what are you doing? Don't touch the cords. Stop. Window? Uh, <laughs> it's not- it's not- Wait. Oh my god, ice, you're right. I left the heat on. Oh, 
Okay, got it. <laughs> Not that it matters. I don't think the heat's turned on at all anyway, because it's it's warmer than what the heater is set to. But still, if Seymour comes home and he walks past the thermostat and he's like, hmm. <laughs> Now, when Seymour comes home from work, if he has food with him, it's not for me. It's always for him. <laughs> because it'll usually be either GNL or uh, Papa John's or this one local sub shop. It's literally only something that I don't like. Uh, G and L. I, I think it's, I don't think it's a, not a local chain. I don't think it could be regional though. It's a hot dog fast food place. They do hot dogs and milkshakes and stuff. I don't like them though. <laughs> yeah, Hell Girl brings me nuggies. She knows. She knows what I like. and L. Yes. I could swore it's not a local chain. It's definitely not. It could be. Like I said, it could be regional though. Alistair, get out from under there. I will spray you. Be naughty because he's lonely. Must be an East Coast thing. I think it is. It's probably East Coast thing. I have a water bottle um, sprayer on my desk because Maple likes to get up on the counters to eat crumbs of food or if anything got left out. So if I hear anything on the countertops behind me, I'll, I just kind of swivel in my chair and I snipe her. <laughs> it's... They're naughty. They're so naughty. I can't just... And the thing is like, if I turn around and I'm like, hey, get down or something like that, she'll just stare at me. And then she'll start eating whatever she's doing faster. So sometimes I actually just kind of like shake the water bottle and that's enough. I don't usually have to do the spray. It depends if they challenge me or not. Maple is like that. She will challenge your authority. She is stubborn. And it's probably because she's only like six pounds. Docs by a local hot dog store. I don't think so. I said I lived in Michigan. Live in the East Coast and never heard of it? What the heck? Hold on, let me... I have to look at this. if it's just trying to show me local. It can't be that local. It's a very old chain. Whatever. Ah! Cat! Go away! Alistair, stop it! Whatever. Don't worry about it. It's a hot dog store. I hiss back and forth. Scratch and hiss, really? My cats are really good about their nails being trimmed. Um, what I do is I roll them up in a, a towel, like a burrito. A little burrito. Um, I burrito them into a towel, and then I have one of their arms sticking out. And then I, uh, trim their nails. Uh, Nox? 
she's really vocal. She's a very vocal cat. She meows a lot. She purrs really loud. But she also has a complaint thing. Go complain. Huh. Um. And, uh. Like, <laughs> when you, sometimes if you, like, pick her up from someplace she didn't want to leave, or when I'm trimming her nails, she does this little growl thing. She'll be like, <laughs> It's so cute. <laughs> she just humps really loud. <laughs> she doesn't do anything. Like, she doesn't fight. She just complains very loudly. Like a dog crying. But thankfully all my cats are pretty good about their nails trimmed. Because I'll usually do it when they're sleepy. I'll like, uh, when Alistair's asleep. Um, I'll come up and I'll just trim his nails when he's barely awake. Feed him something nice. Yeah, me too. Give him some good treats afterward. I've been procrastinating. Lower jaw. We'll pour over the lower jaw. to get away with that right now. I'm feeling lazy. Yeah, sleeping in bed with you. Aw, that's sweet. Nox is a lot like that with me. Um, she sleeps on my feet a lot at night, but she also sleeps on my head. She'll uh, curl up on the pillow next to my head and lay on me. <laughs> but I don't really mind. She's, she's still pretty small. Uh, she's bigger than Maple, but she's probably like a 10, 10 to 11 pound cat, maybe, I don't know. what he wants. I think it's affection, but I don't have time for that right now. Uh, 
I'm sorry, Rhyme. I'm gonna keep that phrase banned, but I get what you're trying to say. <laughs> Fix the holes in your floor. <laughs> I don't know. Seymour had a really bad stalker before. He's a he's a pretty lad. In the mouth, I'd be able to figure out. Um, like, also, is that artifacting? Where are you coming from? Hello? What are you? On this layer. Weird. Oh, that's a folder. And skull. Gotcha. Vein. Where, where did I put that layer? Somewhere. Right. Oh, you're attached to the closed mouth. Gotcha. Up on the closed mouth layer. Gotcha. Copy that. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with the exclaim. I 
have an idea. Maybe. Thanks for the pets, Rhyme. together. Angry emotions are always my favorite. I always like the way they look. Big broom. Copy over the color from the jaw.
looking good. I'm trying. It's always hard to get it exactly right. I pour over colors from the other layers. All showered and feeling better, pink. Fresh, that's good. I'll probably take a shower after stream. a doodle but <laughs> yeah get that I guess I didn't add more lines onto the mouth is open it should have more right To the open one. Like they're stretching out when he opens his 
drauf.50 or whatever. Uh, probably at every 100 because this is my 200 followers of celebration and I now have 214. <laughs> so, probably not. And somewhere I broke this and I don't know where. Explains it. I was missing the layer. That fixes it though. Alistair! Going. Yeah. Angie me. <laughs> yeah, it is! Angie. Blaze Gravy, hello. Thank you so much for the compliment. I, uh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> to figure out where these artifacts are coming from right here. What layer are you on? Colors? The skull? Figures? Nope. the angry faces they're always really fun i don't know why but drawing angry faces is one of my favorites <laughs> they have so much uh personality to them all right now i have to figure out what color to make this fire and that's attached to the open file so we'll take a new layer color.
probably change the color, but we're just gonna get it filled in and then look from there. saturated. That's too it wasn't too bad where it was at. Oh no. It's actually not too bad for the fire color. I think it's fine. For the pet slantos. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I, uh, I'm doing do, does my best. Okay. I think we're done with the flat colors. The flats. We're not. We're not done. Boy, did I wish I was done, but we're not. <laughs> well, I'll finish it on stream. I said we'll have time for Pokemon afterward. Double check for anything out of the lines. this time. You can't play Pokemon. I know. It's only five hours and I said I'd do a minimum of eight. Minimum. I, I will go as long as I can do it. To be fair, I should have done this cleanup check thing before I ported the colors to all the other emotions, but that's what an intelligent, well-adjusted artist would have done. That's not what we're doing today. <laughs> I I did this last time I made a PNG tuber for my character. I uh, I forgot to check the uh, color clean, like how clean the color were until like the very end and there was a lot of mistakes let me tell you i had to go back through and fix a lot i was very i was not a happy camper why do you think i never finished my sixth emotion <laughs> this one lo looks like i did pretty good though i'm not seeing any really a lot of er errors to be fixed <laughs> it's okay yeah i have to try I have to try. Because 
I really do want to try and get this done. I do want to finish this model. I got other projects I really need to get started on too. Finish it? Yeah, I'm not gonna finish the drawing one. Yeah, because uh, 3D debuts in like um, two or three months. So what? What's the point? <laughs> I guess that'll be a little bit more fun to watch when I have a 3D model at least, because then I'll be able to like, I don't know, move. You'll get to see me move my head. I'll have hands and stuff like that, so I can be a bit more interactive when I talk to you guys. And, you know, if a uh, VC face is ever a butt, I can always use the PNG tuber again. And back from tech support call. Oh yeah, hands! Yes, I'm gonna have hands and fingies. Thinky butt. Admittedly, I am kind of worried about trying to learn how to do the 3D model, like when I get it, because um, like it's gonna the files are gonna be delivered to me, but I'm still gonna have to like load it up in like Unity to do stuff and everything. Like it's gonna take a while to set up, which is why I said that even though I might get it delivered by the end of the month or sometime afterward. Uh, Riello, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. Um, even after I get the model delivered, it's going to take a while to set up and learn because I'm going to practice with it a little bit and then uh, make sure that everything's configured properly and then uh, also leap motion because I'm going to have the leap motion set up so I can like use my hands. Um, so it'll take a bit of work and redeems. I do want to make a bunch of new redeems that interact with the 3D model in a way as well. So it'll take a while to set up, but you know, I am hoping to have my 3D debut this summer. Okay, that's clean. We're not very clean though, are you? Sad. You're sad because you're not clean. visually see the frustration with this this one. <laughs> that was not a happy camper. looking hands? What? Not mine. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe sometime in the future. 
Unless you're talking about the, these hands, I don't know. They, uh, they sure are something. <laughs> you can draw hands, am I right? You know how awful it was to draw five fingers? I only have four. Oh, you're so wrist, wrist stretchies. I don't know, though. I, I do... As much as I can definitely push the stamina to finish this picture, I realize that my hand actually is cramping up pretty bad. And, um... I don't think it's gonna be wise to push myself to keep drawing if my hand is physically starting to hurt. Because I've been holding this pencil for five hours now. <laughs> but at least take a break. I might. I might eat real quick, too. I'm uh, finally starting to feel hungry. Three o'clock. I haven't eaten yet. I just had the brownie and coffee. So, I might take a break soon to brush up my hands. Get wrecked. No! <laughs> I need these. But I, I, uh, <laughs> I might uh, take a bit of a hand break and, um, uh, eat a little bit. We're only five hours on the stream and I do want to go longer. Seymour's not home yet. He must have been picking up food for himself. I don't think he's texted, has he? Have I got any text? No. Am I gonna eat? I'm not sure. I just went and got more brownies. Oh no. Is that gonna bring me food? Ah, probably not. Ah, I don't know. I have like a lean cuisine. Those aren't, those don't take very long to cook up and eat. I have other stuff I can munch on. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the colors real quick though. See, that's why I put the black background on, so I can see places where I completely missed.
I think all the emotions are clean. What I can see right now. Oh. Okay. Did you I finish my monster? No, it's not even halfway done. I've been drinking the water. Yeah, I need some food too. Alright, I'm gonna take a bit of an extended BRB. <laughs> no, you ate too many brownies, small! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take a bit of an extended BRB. I'm gonna eat some food and um, stretch out my hands and all that stuff. When we get back, I'll either start on the render or I might play Pokemon. I'm not sure, we'll see. Because um, I still have quite a bit to do. I have to do all the shading. And after I shade it, I have to port that shade to all the other emotions. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright. Um. Uh. Alright. BRB, folks.
and I'm back. Sorry about that and uh, thank you guys for waiting. <laughs> oh goodness. Hey Seymour, you picking up food somewhere? <sighs> yes, hello, hello, welcome. Thanks for uh, sticking around while I was uh, BRB. Um, Hulker Knight? Uh, thank you for the follow, but uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm not taking requests. I am uh, focused on 
finishing my current art project. And uh, Melanie, Melanie, thank you for the compliment. That's very sweet. Okay. So I, uh, I scarfed down some food. I got a refresh on my water. I closed um, the big picture windows. Uh, well, the big, the curtains to the picture window, so it won't get too hot in here. I have my little fan on me with the ice water. So hopefully I'll stay cool. Um, yeah, I guess, you know what, we'll just keep doing art. <laughs> More coffee? No, just water. Uh, I still have my monster I haven't finished. Um, as for the game Steam War was talking about, he was texting me about it. Um, apparently the end of Season 1 got published for the Dark Pictures Anthology, which is um, the company that makes the games like The Quarry and Until Dawn. And it's called The Devil in Time. So it's another one of those uh, interactive horror games. It's my favorite monster flavor. Um, the sunshine one, the orange one, is really good. Uh, th that's probably my favorite. And I think my second favorite is the pink one. I think it's called Rosa something. But mostly I really like the orange juice one. Right now I'm drinking the white monster. Um, Zero Ultra. It's okay. It's not a favorite, but I'll take it over the classic. I don't really like classic monster. Call it uh, the Devil in Time. Mine is Mango, Yoko, and Nitro. No, wait, Nitro is—is is that the coffee one? I've had the coffee monster before. I didn't care for it. I haven't tried Mango though. That sounds good. All right. I guess I'll get back to it. Uh, so now we have to do shading. Shading shouldn't take as long to pour over as um, the entire colors did. Depends on how much I deal with the mouth. I don't know. Shading the mouth was a headache last time. Literally nitro gas! <laughs> I remember um, the original monster flavor, Hellgirl used to always say it tastes like gasoline. <laughs> okay. Back to it. Artist's work is never done. We're gonna make a new layer for shading. Thankfully, shading is gonna be a lot easier to play with. Um, black colors for more complex models like this is a lot harder, but we can do the shading. I believe in us. <laughs> All right, uh, as for the layer it's gonna go on, it has to go on top of the color, but underneath the line art. Nitro or laughing gas? Oh. oh. I see. Oh, the tablet's done charging. That'll keep it a little bit cooler. <laughs> the, the tablet heats up really hot when I charge it and use it at the same time. I try not to kill the battery, so I try to unplug it as soon as it hits full charge. Depends on where it's gonna go. Annoyingly, the mouth is still gonna give me a headache with this, but we'll do our best. Is it possible to move the mouth down further? Does that do anything? Oh. It looks the same, so I'm sure it's fine. gonna need its own folder. If we end up with few layers then I'll make it into a folder. NO2. Uh, 
Now, for PNG tubers, I keep the shading relatively minimal. We're not going to do, like, extreme. Oh. It's N2O. Oh, I see. Shading on a single layer, or should I cut it up again? I don't. That's quite a question. For the head, it'll probably be annoying if I don't cut it up. Maybe I'll have the shading, the head shading its own layer, and then we'll do... We'll make shading for the skull, and then shading for the neck, and then everything else will be its own. I think that's what we'll do. Yeah, we're gonna make a folder. That is so cold in the mornings and then so hot in the afternoon. It's gonna be this gross hot weather or this gross hot until sundown, which I don't think is until like 8 30. I have a cold pack in the fridge. I might grab that out and put it behind my back because now that I've eaten my body's like running into a nuclear factory where it's just like going brrrr. <laughs> Every time I eat, my body temperature spikes. And I ate warm food. I uh, I had a lean cuisine. It was um, uh, spinach. Hold on, spinach ricotta ravioli. Pretty good though. I like I like lean cuisines. The ice pack. I know. I heard actually Pink mention that on her stream the other day. I'm like, hmm, actually, that's a good idea. <laughs> thing just so I don't forget because I have a bad habit of forgetting where my light source is. So remember, remember over there. <laughs> color down to about this far where we start to call it the neck
There's no tape needed for the glasses. Oh yeah, I thought <laughs> yeah, it's kind of silly, isn't it? it? Just hooks right there on the the cheek. <laughs> yeah, when I wear glasses, I need to tape them on. Well, not anymore. I have ears now. Uh, Dinky though, Dinky didn't have ears. She needed to tape them on. <laughs> I'll also have to add some kind of glare onto the glasses too, so they don't just look like empty frames. solution. Yeah, it's really cute. Hold on a second.
Okay, I'm so sorry. I had a bit of a heart attack. Holy crap. Uh, I... Uh, oh, hold on. Catching my breath. I heard distressed meowing. And sometimes when the cats are like bored, they'll kind of like do a little meow. And they'll sound kind of sad. And I was like, huh, I wonder if Sebastian's bored. And like, it was kind of going on for too long. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna go check on the cat. And I looked back. And um, I noticed that all the cats were staring out the window and I'm like, is there a cat upset outside? Cause I can't really hear much. I'm wearing headphones, right? So I walk over and the freaking screen window was broken open. And I look outside and Knox is outside in the neighbor's yard, crying. She's just bawling and she's looking up at the window. Ugh. The neighbors were there, they were staring at, they were just staring at her because they were worried that she might be aggressive or something. <sighs> so I ran out there and I started to go for her to like pick her up and she had a panic response, right? And the first panic response she had was to try to climb the tree. <laughs> she started climbing the tree. <laughs> and I'm like, no, Knox, no, 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 don't do this. So I, I got up there fast enough to grab her. Thankfully, she just let go because I, I got her on the neck. I scruffed her. She let go. And I carried her in. And I shut the window. That dummy must have, like... Yeah, Nox fell out of the window. I think she must have, like, saw a bird or a bug and jumped for it, like, dodged, like, dove in to like, grab it. And I think she broke through the wi the window, because the screen, like, the screen itself is fine, but, like, the, the frame was knocked out. And she was just on the ground outside crying. <laughs> Thank goodness she didn't move anywhere. Oh my god. I'm not surprised she didn't react well to being outside. She's, um, she was a shelter born cat. She was uh, a kitty. She was a kitten born in a shelter, so she doesn't have any outside experience. Uh, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just kind of catching my bearings because that was terrifying. Uh, I'm going to go close every other single window in the house right now because I can't trust her to be nice to the screens. So. Sorry, I'll be right back again. Oh, God. I'm back for real. <sighs> okay. I'm just gonna take a breather. Hearts are racing. Anyway, how's everyone else doing? <laughs> you ever have a, a pet accidentally end up outside that they shouldn't be? God, I have nightmares of my cats ending up outside on their own like that all the time. Like, I have nightmares of like Maple dashing out the door or something like that when it's open and just losing her. I hate those.
Okay. Out of all the cats that I was gonna have that was gonna fall out the window. I'm not surprised it was Max. She's um she's the dumb one. Absolutely 100 percent She's the dumb one. <laughs> she's not a smart cat by any means. Like she's really sweet, but her head's empty. Plays. Hello, welcome in. How you doing? Having a decent afternoon? Hello! <laughs> I am new here. Yes, yeah, you're absolutely new. <laughs> Hello, how are you doing today? I, um, I don't know. Mess with layers. It's been, it's been tough. <laughs> This. I didn't name this properly. It's supposed to be eye color. Just vibing? Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to as well. <laughs> I had a bit of a heart attack earlier, but uh, we're going a little bit better. My cat fell out the window. Old dummy attacked. The screen window, probably going after a bug or something, and fell right outside. Now I have a broken screen. <laughs> and she's okay. <laughs> she's okay. Um, yeah, it was, um, it was pretty terrifying. And the thing is, like, I have these big headphones on and I'm listening to music. So I very briefly, quietly heard crying, like cat crying. And at first I'm like, oh, it's just Sebastian being a whiny baby. If he gets bored, he'll cry. And then like one of the other cats will start to play with him. But it kept going. So I finally turned around and I noticed that the uh, all the cats were staring outside. I look outside and there's freaking Knox on the ground, crying, looking up at the window. <laughs> oh, that little dummy. I love her.
but my cat don't do that. Yeah, the, the thing is, like, I didn't expect that to happen either. Like, yes, they put their paws up on the screen window and clawed it before, but I never expected her to just fall through. That was pretty wild. Very shocked. But she is okay, and you know what? I can handle a broken screen window if my cat's okay. No, you're fine. <laughs> All right. I should put that on the that pupil on this layer is this made. Where Seymour is? He's awful late to my home. Who's texting? Hold on, guys. I have to talk to him. Sorry about it, guys. I, I had to talk to see more about what happened with the cat. All right. Um, uh, Eno, hello. hello! Hello, welcome in! I'll go see Endurance Stream. It's uh, going! Uh, six, six hours and I'm still drawing! <laughs> I'm trying to finish this PNG tuber model. I'm trying to. background of my stream along with the PNG. I'm a little out of the loop for what you're trying to ask, so I don't know. <laughs> it's, I, I don't know if you're talking about like a PNG tuber. It also depends on what program you're using, and there, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Personally, I use the uh, via VideoTube mini program. So what I do is a little bit different, I guess.
Yeah, I know you like xenomorphs. <laughs> transition to black so you can see the highlights better yeah and also so that i uh, don't accidentally go outside the line so like when i have it in um transparent background like this if i go outside i might not always see it especially on these lighter tones it, it kind of blends in really good so if i have the black background i'll be able to see it more obviously A bit Kechan wanted to play. I see. Yeah. Got a what competition? What about an iPad? What's going on? What are you talking about? Engineering con. Okay. Which is in 160p. Wow, looks great. 
Yeah. You gonna take a nap, Seymour? if I like the successive I'm zooming in and out a lot I do need to get that stupid uh, thing that lets me the full canvas. Do pretty good shaping. I, I was calling it rendering, but I don't know if that's the right terminology for it. It is shading, whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to add some texture to the the face with um all of that, especially with all the scales. All these horns. is okay. Little Caesars, Italian bread, and jalapeno. You went to Little Caesars? Not Papa John's? That's weird. Little Sneezer bread? <laughs> is that what you call it? I know rendering isn't compiling a video together like a finished product. Ever heard it in art? I could just be wrong. sure it ends up on the right spot. Oh yeah, I can smell the food. Jalapeno peppers from Arby's? Ew! <laughs> Ew! I don't like jalapeno peppers! <laughs> I don't like Arby's either! I only like their uh, mozzarella sticks. Throw an eggs at Pinky for Easter team. Easter's already passed. I didn't stream on Easter because I wanted to hang out with you guys. Maybe a Utah thing to call them sneezers. I love that. That's hilarious. What? Oh, 
shoot. That does sound pretty cute though, I like that. Caesars. I don't think I really eat Little Caesars. I think my favorite pizza place is Domino's. I like their uh, Pasta Primavera. It's too bad my local uh, fast food Italian place is shutting down because they had amazing lasagna. Absolute favorite. Thing. Show there in two panels? Why would I ever want to do that? Alright, next. Neck. Gotta separate the neck from the skull, otherwise I'll get a headache when I deal with it later. <sighs> Have fun shading the shirt! No! <laughs> yeah, you're right. horns right here are attached to the lower jaw so I should those maybe it should be a slightly darker. make it slightly darker actually it'd be this color That's wrong. Actually, good question, why is it doing that? Oh, because the shading set above the jaw. Ugh. I knew this was going to be a headache. No amount of sh No amount of... amount of like cutting up and doing layers properly will ever save me from the headache of certain things on here. I will always suffer one way or another. them play on my uh playback and I heard them too how are they broken they're not oh I see 
I see what you're doing. I'm smarter than that. <laughs> No, my playback is like almost directly in front of my face. So rare shiny. No, oh, I should make a shiny pinky. Shiny pinky, I think, would be like reversed. I'd be blue with pink hair. Seymour's investigating that popped open screen. <sighs> he was pretty worried about Max too. He was all petting her and just kind of like mildly upset. <laughs> like, oh, poor baby, she's so stupid. <laughs> Be cool to see. Yeah. Kind of cool. I could probably do art of it one day. Thank you. This album by Harris Heller. It's really good. for another appointment. Yeah, okay. Thanks for uh, sticking around with this whole time, Small. I really appreciate it. <laughs> Good luck on your appointment.
longest word in Hungarian? That is very, that is a very long word. grammar rules we just is it kind of like german where you can just kind of like keep tacking words onto it and stuff like that it just gets longer Figure out these folds. Google couldn't translate it. Oh. <laughs> Let's 
I mean, Google Translate isn't the best. Sketch of what tool do I like to use? Um, I think sitting in the chair is starting to mess with my pelvis. I'm trying to get like lower body cramps. I'm not feeling good. <laughs> um, oh, when I sketch in pencil, I usually use, um, or when I do sketches, I usually use the pencil tool, and then I'll use the uh, lighter pencil brush. And it'll usually end up looking like this. I'll, I'll make it not quite black. I'll kind of imitate pencil sketch where... where it'll be a slightly just dark gray and whatnot. It's not quite pencil, but it's very similar. So that's how my sketches end up looking. Oh. Yeah. I think all the sitting and the stupid sitting I'm doing to try, like, trying to mess with me. Maybe endurance streams aren't for me. <laughs> Some people are really good at at it, but I'm not good at sitting in a computer chair for extended periods of time. Also because I've been doing art, so I'm like constantly kind of hunched over and I'm like in a... Yeah, <laughs> an art stream of all things. I didn't expect it to go this long. And, I don't know. Yeah, I'm starting to get cramps, so I don't feel very... Looking forward to a long stream. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of something that like takes practice to, I guess, get to that point. The thing is that um, 
I, I don't usually stream extremely long. <sighs> hey, Hulker Knight, I'm not doing requests. I've said this before. Holy crap, Lantos, please don't do that ever again. Uh, don't, don't be filling chat with extremely long words, regardless of anything. And also, no, I don't do art requests. I am busy. I am doing a project. Also, it's straight up rude to just come into someone's chat and be like, Hey, can you draw this? Like, do I know you? No. him paper mud paper mud <laughs> that's funny so far out of close look I don't know I don't draw them <laughs> really making progress though am I cushing you oh I'd be sweet that you consider that I do have comms open For anyone else that's wondering, um, I, I do commissions for uh, reference sheets, uh, PNG tubers, <laughs> um, and emotes, and recently now I have my Your Character Here plushie on my coffee page as well. Oofy. There's my, there's my comm plug. <laughs> The, uh, the Your Character Here art raffle, it looks like the tweet sent out about who won. And uh, yeah, so if anyone entered and didn't uh, get their plushie, you can commission one for $10. Uh-oh. You know, I've been using my drawing tablet too long when it starts to do this. <laughs> and it starts to not want to wo work. Sometimes my tablet itself will almost tell me to take a break because it'll just stop doing.
use sliders to move the image around. Touch the rainbow. Sliders? Taste the rainbow. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, I use my finger. No, I don't I don't have sliders in any way. I just use my fingers. It's a tablet. Yeah, like I said, I don't really know exactly how the Cintiq works. I never drew on the Cintiq. Uh, I've only ever drawn on my thingy right here. The Microsoft Surface Pro. It is a pretty good tablet. I do like this a lot because um, it's also um, a laptop. So I can take on the keyboard and snap it off at will. And I can plug in mice into this and all that stuff. But I can still use the pen as like a mouse in a way. But we all start with some. We all start somewhere. Uh, Hellgirl's very first uh, art tablet was a hand-me-down from another art friend who was upgrading, and it was not as nice as the Cintiq. <laughs> it, you couldn't even like look at the picture and see your hand move on it. It was one of those where you drew on the tablet and you had to look up at your computer screen. And then just kind of like have that memory of where your hand was as you were drawing. It, it was hard. I couldn't do it. I think that's good enough for the shirt. I don't want to overdo it. The mice you oh uh-huh nice thanks <laughs> i think i have an issue with over shading eh, depends on like whatever works for over shading or under shading even it all depends on like what you're trying to go for uh png tubers should have relatively simple shading to begin with i think just so that um it looks good on whatever background it's going to end up on so to speak I generally do minimalistic shading though. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I don't know. I guess it really depends. I guess that since I tend to undershade things, that probably means that I do a little less, little worse on certain things. Like really nice art projects will probably not look good. Batting at the screen door this time. Okay. 
Now the arms. I know it's been seven hours. <laughs> if you ever, if you ever feel like you pay, if uh, tra artists charge too much money for what they do, um, take a look <laughs> at how long this takes. It was a doozy. reasonable. Maybe. I don't know how long my lower body's gonna be able to handle this. At first my arm, my hand was just hurting, but now uh, it's my pelvis. Check, uh, I strained out to what I could.
I'm getting hot. I'm gonna grab my cold pack. Maybe that'll help my pelvis. Right there in freezer access. Ow. Make plushie free again? Never. I'll never forgive how you guys abused having free plushie. Hey, Toaster. Welcome in. How you doing? You happy it's Friday? got a fan for me <laughs> does get really hot by my computer I'm not only I'm not only in the hottest part of the house but I also have my both my computers on <sighs> also plus she's only 50 points guys come on can't complain I, I know how many points you has guys have I'm gonna do shading on the inside of the mouth. I think it'll kill me if I try. Cause uh, hold on. My, my model? Ah! No, I didn't even do my own model face. <laughs> I didn't even shade the inside of my own character's mouth. <laughs> I know it's such a pain. I hate doing it. Or pink. You know what? I've never done it before. I, I don't shade the inside of the mouth. <laughs> Say ah, <laughs> I did. Ah, <laughs> no shading. Nor for pink. I don't think I did rhymes. I I don't shade the inside of the mouth. That's a lot for someone who barely watches your. Though, who? Seymour? Who? Seymour doesn't watch me. <laughs> Ice actually has been spending his because he's been making me hydrate. <laughs> you really have no points, Seymour? Because you don't watch me. Please donate. You're awful, Seymour. Bestest friend and for what? 33k? That's not bad. Pink's the, pink's the hoarder. Give me my prime back. I can't handle not having my sub. <gasps> oh no! What happened to your prime? I just noticed that you weren't subbed, Pink. What happened? available yet oh right because you you get your prime sub like renewed to you every month that's true you should have it because it's like the rollover time for twitch right now call call mr twitch call mr twitch get him on the phone tell him where where my sub where my sub at Back him around a little bit. Feel his wife.
Gonna tantrum. <laughs> no, Angie emote. No! Unlock it with points, quick! <laughs> yes, all the Angies! I love that emote so much. Hey, I found an empty spot in there. <laughs> that is my all-time favorite emote that I have. <gasps> oh! You guys want a sneak peek? You wanna- you want a special stream exclusive sneak peek? Um, I've only finished one of the new emotes that I'm gonna introduce. Flipping ready. No! Now I'm not gonna do it! Seymour's fault, but I'm not doing it now. <laughs> What'd you say, you got cold feet? No, I'd say that you bullied me. Touch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Get out. What kind of points? I thought you were broke. What was that? All my money. <laughs> All right. Uh, so the the sneak peek is one of the new emotes that I finished for the channel. the new emo. <laughs> it's sippy. <laughs> you take big sippy. <laughs> it's very cute. I love I love how this turned out. It's really s stupid and funny. I showed this to Seymour the other day and he just stared at it and smiled. <laughs> and and he just kind of like looked at me and I'm like, "Why? What was wrong with it?" Do you, do you wanna do you wanna punch her? Do you wanna knock her juice box out of her hands and push her down? <laughs> and he's like, yes. Never show this to me again. <laughs> yes, yeah, drop. I know it's not a. Yeah, it's, it's not really a juice box. It's strawberry milk. Chico. Yeah. So there you go. That's that's your exclusive sneak peek of uh, Sippy. That's the emo I finished. I love how it turned out. <laughs> strawberry milk box. Yeah. Like from school. Did you guys get strawberry milk at school? I loved it. Could use those to hydrate you. I mean, yeah, you me. Well, no, no, you gotta throw a water ball out at me, but it's a sippy emo. <laughs> about the thorns, I'll fix it. I just wanted to make sure that the line leading all the way down to the bottom was good. Also, this cold pack is feeling amazing. It's slightly painful with how cold it is, but I want it. It's like the good kind of pain.
school milk for room temp? What? Why was it room temp? You didn't have it like you didn't grab it out of a giant refrigerator box? We had giant refrigerator boxes that we got ours out of. Tasted awful. To be fair, my high school years, I went to a relatively well off school. So, experience might have been a bit different. rolls off not right now because i haven't run an, run an ad in a while did i should i run an ad honestly i should just run an ad every time i shut up for too long <laughs> to us so you got there first you got cold milk otherwise that's weird i think we're stuck with an ad again oh i don't see pre-rolls off keep getting your money's worth of ads all right here we go get ready guys one minute break go unless you're subbed then you're still here except for pink go go drink water nice tell pink i told her to drink water <laughs> that's my hydration break I moved the cold pack lower onto my, my, the back of my hips from my back. It's perfect. The pain is soothing. I'm gonna gift you a sub, but I can't do that via phone. You can't gift a sub via phone. Of course you can. I know. I know how to do that. Even. I can't do it now because I'm in a. I'm tight on finances at the moment. Okay. <laughs> my office got the ad, but not my phone. Oh, that's funny, actually. Okay. God, Small Ant's doing his 100% Zelda uh, speedrun again. Gotta, gotta have hats off to the lad. He works so hard. Anyway, if you want to gift a sub to someone on mobile, you have to click on their name. I think. I think. And there should be a gift box next to it. I'm not sure. I'm not messing with it right now. Bonus more expensive. Is it more expensive to gift subs and do all that stuff on mobile? Oh, I see what you mean. Google. Mobile's more expensive? Why? It makes no sense. That's so stupid. I actually tend to not watch um, Twitch on mobile. Even though apparently most people do. Like on my little statistic thing, it says like 60% of people who watch me watch me on a phone. But that could be people who have you on TV and then have the phone. I'm not sure. Because yesterday I actually discovered a new thing that I liked uh, when I was watching Pink. Because um, I can't... In order to chat, uh, I would have had to alt-tab at a Porsche. And that was really annoying, and I didn't want to do it. So, um, instead, I had her stream on a second screen, my, my other computer screen. And then I had my phone open to chat-only mode. And I had no idea that was a thing. And it worked so much better. But yeah, generally I don't watch Twitch on my phone. I almost always do on my computer. And if I'm in the living room, um, I'll usually have it up on the TV or on my laptop.
a pinky on TV computer phone. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's true. Goodness. I feel so loved. <laughs> I'm sorry this ended up turning into an art endurance stream and not, I don't know, playing Pokemon like I thought I was going to. But, you know, it's Friday. Friday, baby. It's art day. I do on Fridays. Key everywhere I go. <laughs> Pinky shout. Oh. Alexa, play Despacito. I don't know if that worked. <laughs> Didn't work. <laughs> I heard her talk in my office. <laughs> Maybe it was something like, sorry, I couldn't hear that. <laughs> Playing. Oh, hey! <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks, Rhyme. I had to hit her at least once. say something else like what like uh what's new what, what what's it new what's new pussycat what else is a good one unravel if you have <laughs> i'm not gonna do it again unless <laughs> no see more That is the Oh, is that? No. What? <laughs> what is it called? That could be anything. I don't know. It no. It's no, I'm not doing it. Yeah, it takes energy. Like, sometimes you just don't have an art mood. I think that's the reason why I'm trucking so hard on trying to do this, because um, the art vibe is good right now, and I don't want to- I don't want to lose that. Because sometimes I open my tablet and it just goes really, really bad. And then some days, it goes really good, like today, so I might as well just keep doing it. that was going to fall through a screen, I am highly unsurprised it was not. Of course it was X. Alright, for, for the darker brown part, that looks good for the tail shade. Now I have to do the thorns. Back. 
This is looking better with shading. That's how like all my all my art goes. It's like a constant yo-yo back and forth between looking really good and looking bad. It'll be like the sketch will look good, then the dumpy line art will look bad, and then the clean art will look good, and then the flat will look bad, and then it looks better with the the shading. <laughs> But if you ever think your art looks really bad, just keep going until it's done. And then decide if it was good or bad. Because it'll... it'll change. Oh yeah, Ice is still working, isn't he? Yeah. Well, thanks for, like, uh, lurking and being here ice in between your jobs. What's a thorn? All the spikes on the tail. <laughs> I'm calling them thorns, but they're spikes. They just remind me of thorns. Left at 6.30? My goodness. How many hours do you... How many hours do you uh, do DoorDash, Ice? I know technically you're self-employed, but you can kind of like do it however long you want. Ice working hard. Doing a different one called Spark. Oh, interesting. That's 11. <laughs> I'm sorry it's taking so long, Lantos. I am trying to get this done. Um, it, it, this is just a very time consuming uh, thing to do. PNG tubers take forever. I'm not sure what takes me longer PNG tubers or reference sheets. Probably PNG tubers because I have to do the same thing over and over again for like every emotion. Alright, back to it. Fingy. My fingies. I'm probably not gonna draw anything tomorrow. It can wait. No drawing tomorrow. Oh my god! I give up. <laughs> Wrong layer. I'm just leaving it. You know what? I'm just leaving it. I don't care. I'm just leaving it. But they're going together. I don't care. <laughs> Staying. I'm not fixing that. No betas, we die like men. And nothing can go wrong. <laughs> oh no, it all went wrong. We're gonna keep going. You know what? It's fine. I can live with this. Pink, you didn't tell me to check my lairs! <laughs> I'm gonna make that a redeem. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to make a layer check redeem for one point. It doesn't do anything, but you know, I'll see it in chat. <laughs> I can work with this. I can. Fine, it's fine. I can work with this. Fine. I failed you. <laughs> yes, this is all your fault. Completely, totally not of my own incompetency. <laughs> now this is what I get for uh, activating your Alexa. Pharma, I guess. Also, uh... I, I just want to say real quick though, uh, thanks for everyone who's been like through, uh, been here with me, even off or on, or just lurking in the background and all that stuff through um, the stream. I really appreciate you guys. Even if you guys don't chat, or even if you just kind of like leave and keep me on in the background for a while, um, it still means a lot to me. 
want to say thanks to you guys for showing me support. You can go to sleep now. <laughs> That's okay, Lantos. I know, I know you're asleep. Don't worry about it. I um, yeah. <laughs> thanks for being here, and thanks uh, especially for commissioning me. I hope, I hope you're satisfied with how it's turning out. Um, I'm trying to do my best to make a good PNG tuber. I hope, I hope when you stream, you'll get people who come in and say, "Awesome, cool model." <laughs> that you're happy with it. I'm happy with how this is turning out too. The more I tweak at it, the happier I've been with how it's turned out. <gasps> Pink, you got your prime! Thank you so much for the prime sub. That's so sweet. Thank you, Pete. Finally! Let's go! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> it's too powerful now. Yes, the Angie. worth it like is twitch prime actually worth it i've never really looked into the perks or what it does <laughs> all right now the wings I guess it depends. Do I shop on Amazon? Um, I usually don't. Seymour does. Seymour shops on Amazon all the time. Really do this one. Je serai le président de tous les Français. The wings. You get some things for games you play. Play some sub virtually for free. Let's see. I see the the prime drops all the time though, but I don't actually look at them. I just clear the notification and go.
I'm one of those people that hates having notifications. Um, so I always have to clear them. <laughs> I always clear my notice for everything. Otherwise the, the badge bothers me. You have to link your other accounts so you play with your Amazon account? Oh, right. Duh. Forgot. Yeah, Twitch. Uh, Amazon owns Twitch. I guess that's true. I don't know. I don't think I participate in this stuff enough to use it. All I know is that if you sub to someone with your Twitch Prime, it pays more to the streamer, right? Is that what it is? She keep clawing on the door. Dummy. But she fell through the window. Nox doesn't learn. She keeps standing up on the door screen window. She's gonna fall through the door next, I bet. Stupid guys, help her! Help her! So dumb. <laughs> Poor little baby. She doesn't know how to learn. So cute because she's so full of dumb. Nox from? Uh... <laughs> no, that's not it! I mean, I, I have called her Noxious Nox before because <laughs> she's stinky. <laughs> but no, uh, it came from, I believe it's the one of the, I don't remember what pantheon it's from. It's the pagan god of darkness. The goddess of darkness, Nox. the name we got her from with shelter. I think her shelter name was Crayon. Was it Crayon? It was Crayon. It was! It was like Flamingo Von something. Something else kind of ridiculous. Which honestly for a cat like Nox, fair. Yeah, uh, Crayon was her adopted name. I think Maple's adopted name was Marble? Might have been Marble. Marmalade! Her adopted name was Marmalade. And I'm like, but well, she's not even that orange.
look into other program stuff to like speed up some processes. I'm pretty sure there's a faster way to do color stuff than I did. Reminds me of an antagonist you watched as a kid from a French game called Dolphus? Heard of it. Not surprised it's an antagonist, though. It also reminds me of um main character of Final Fantasy 15. Noctis. Because he's also named after Darkness. that show I haven't watched it myself but um Hellgirl likes it I've heard of Wakfu she really likes it watch it in French? I can't remember. I don't remember. I think so, but I don't I don't actually know. I never watched it myself, but I do remember her talking about it and I do remember it being on the TV before. Dog sleeps so soundly, but sleeps through the night. <laughs> what you gotta do is you gotta take him outside for a run before you go to bed. You gotta run the stink out of him. You can sleep well at night. Maybe your dogs have sundowners. can't walk well so they can't go on long walks. I see. Right, because they're elderly.
Oh, bad hips? Yeah. A lot of, a lot of purebred dogs be get uh, bad hips with age. How old were, did you say your dogs were again? Like 15? I know Chihuahuas have a bit of a longer life expectancy than the larger breed. And these wings are going to be a nightmare. The knee joint slips out of its socket. Oh yeah, knee slip. That is a thing that just happens to dogs. Heard of that. Your appointment was not annoying. <laughs> Come on. Let her die. We can make it together. If I've made it this long, so can you. On tablet, we can do it. Don't look at the cry emote, it's bad. It, uh, it's not quality approved. You will never see the light of day. I will make a better one. Raven and Tigger are 16, Coke is 9, Kawaii is 6. Oh, I see. to the bottom of the playlist. That's how we're going back up to the top. Ah. Canvas size for emotes? Uh... Uh, 3,000 by 3,000. Pretty much everything I do is at that size because it's where things start to be classified as high resolution. And then obviously afterward I uh, scale it down with the resize. <sighs> Those PNG tubers at 3K by 3K and my model was made the same way too. About at eight hours, but I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how much I can get this done. Despite this wing really being a problem in my butt right now. Well, if you thought the shirt was gonna be hard.
Thanks for keeping you company. Yeah, of course. Welcome, nice. Thanks for uh, being here while you were uh, doing your runs and everything. Hey, Nail. Welcome in. Is there a Marrow Must TTS? I have no idea what that is. I wouldn't know. Today, Nail. You happy for Friday? I'm happy to be trying to finish this model. <sighs> I don't want to go too hardcore on the datings for the wings, otherwise, you know, less is more sometimes. Preparing for work stuff? Oh, I see. Is it like personal work stuff or your or like a day job? This is pretty much my job at this point. makes me realize I've almost done like an eight hour shift. <laughs> Day job? Yeah. Me too. Rather than do this in factory? Oh, of course. Of course, I'm much like as much as I complain about how difficult art can be, um, I'm much happier doing this than working in a factory. Never thought I would ever do like art and entertainment in my life, but I've actually really liked it been a lot more enjoyable and fulfilling than uh, machine work, whatever it was. You, as good as I was at uh, fixing machines and working on maintenance, uh, this does make me happier. You know, I still haven't told my mom that I quit my job. <laughs> or I quit the factory job. And that I now uh, work from home full time. I don't want to tell her. I don't want to hear what she has to say about it. My mom's sometimes one of those people where it's better to ask forgiveness than permission. thing with your family. Yeah. I'll 
do the webbing. stream I asked if you'd ever do this full-time and he said no because I loved my job yeah yeah I know I said that too I was like I don't know if I could just sit at a desk for that long and do it as a job <laughs> yeah that's fine it's also it doesn't help that the factory job was getting bad too uh, all the overtime and stuff like that they were cranking down on discipline and whatnot Yeah, the company was sort of going downhill too, so that's also why I ditched. Seymour's not really happy with it right now either. Seymour, when are you gonna go work with Hell Girl? She likes her job a lot more. She gets days off. She gets more than four days off a month. I can't believe I was streaming when I was getting four days off a month. Holy crap. That was a nightmare. Like my work, hate my job. Yeah, I think that's fair too. Like, I did like the work. I really did get along with the first shifters though. There's something about people on second shift where they're just so inherently unhinged people that I just got along with everyone better on second. <laughs> Most of the time if you're on second shift you're probably a little strange. I liked I like those people a lot better. They're not right because of second shift. <laughs> that is true, second sucks. It is the worst shift. I did realize the other day that my stream schedule is technically second shift. But. I guess it's a little different because, you know, it's my own thing.
The sleepy version of beats. Enthusiastic. Guarantee you. Sure. I am positive. Get off my back. <laughs> Kidding. I'm just... I'm just like in a, a trance, I guess? I don't know. <sighs> what do you think, folks? Is that a... Pretty solid, okay shave shading. Awesome. Yeah, it's a uh, minimalistic. Just a little flavor to give it some texture. the voices are for TPS? I... don't know. <laughs> 100 to 100 pinky! Yeah! Uh, heavy is the default. Um... And I know it can do all the TF2 people. I believe there's a way to look up the data bank, but I just... I just can't right now. I just can't.
<laughs> uh, it didn't stop working yet, but it's, I'm like I'm getting like the white ring of loading every once in a while. You know when you're watching a stream or something like that and it stops and then you get the white ring and it starts chugging again and you lose quality? That's me right now, but at 144p. <laughs> oh shoot, the controller. I forgot about the controller. Need a break, uh, but I'm so close. Um, I can taste it. I can feel it. Came out of orders. Good. Dave. <laughs> Need a coffee? I tried coffee earlier and it went poorly. I gave up. <laughs> I tried to make iced coffee and I forgot that you can't put powdered creamer in cold coffee. Yeah. I know something that could help. Or get me Advil. Thank you. <laughs> I need Advil. <laughs> the stupid way I've been sitting on my butt is hurting my pelvis. Getting like abdominal cramps. <sighs> okay. We're in the home stretch though. Yeah, that looks pretty good compared to the flat. You see that difference? Really adds texture. Looks good. Thank you, small. I uh <laughs> thanks, Seymour. I'm really proud of how it's turning out. Oof, yeah, quality. I only offer quality, baby. Advil. That'll be water with that. Holding up? I am surviving. <laughs> Thanks for asking, Bonds. We're almost wrapped up. I just gotta get this, the shadings onto the other emotions. shading the inside of the mouth because I already established that I don't do that. <laughs> I've never done it before. I don't feel like starting now. Ooh, but 
I know something. Hold on. Abort. Stop. I do have to... <sighs> okay. The jaw does open, and that's gonna affect the shadows. That shadow there. that on jaw. I'm an idiot. Um. Grab this. I'm gonna put that onto the jaw. those shadows are gonna move when he opens the mouth. Yeah. Thanks for the pet spawns. Okay. So, open the mouth. Hundred and thirty points now. Oh no! <laughs> it's because he keep watering me. I think I think I know how we can do this. Close it. Close the mouth. Shadings. Minor adjustments.
but can't Pinky pick and strong need water. Uh, the only thing Pinky needs right now is to lay down. Now the word tired is in French. Don't be surprised. A lot of uh, a lot of English are loan words from other other languages. Did you know a lot of uh, Japanese words are loan words, such as like ramen? Did you know ramen is actually a loan word in Japan? And other things were interesting that I learned, like the word for bread in Japanese is pan, like Spanish. Um, what word? Ramen. <laughs> Am I winning? No, not like you. You won. <laughs> Hi, boss. And welcome in. No, I'm a, uh, I'm, force. I'm struggling, but I'm forcing myself to get this done. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so, um, it turns out a lot of, uh, words in Japanese were borrowed from Portuguese. Because one of their earliest, um, intercultural exchanges was with the Portuguese a long time ago. So, that's why I believe, um, a lot of, I'm trying to remember, there, I, I used to know how to say like all the countries in Japanese, but they were basically what the name of the country is. But I know their word for England was actually like Inglés or something like that. It was very similar to Inglés or Inglésia because it was supposed to be like England because that's what was taught to them by the Portuguese. Igrisu! That's what it is. In Japanese, the word for England is Igrisu. Inglés. Igrisu. I mean what the word is in French? Oh, oh, well, no, I don't. Sorry. I want a tangent about loan words. <laughs> I don't know any French. Hell girl knows some French. Okay. Back to it. move when I move it, but it lags so bad. It's really hard to tell how to get this on the right angle. One thing I hate about porting over layers like this, because it's not pretty. It doesn't like to move nicely. That's how you say it. Oh, I know why all of this is all wonky and not quite lined up. I moved the neck individually from, like the neck spines, I moved those individually from the rest of it, didn't I? Figures. Of course I did something stupid like that. Thank you. 
did move like quite a bit of the net and I the part I knew was gonna be a note. Overheating? Oh yeah, I bet. Touch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Yes. Are the pets small? Oh, lost it behind the jaw. Interesting. Or the uh, mouth color. Right. I think I need to move that then. The tablet is fighting back. Had enough. Oh, there's the rest of the render. Interesting. Tablet has had enough. Spelling is fighting back. Tablet is tired and it thinks it's in charge. No, I am the one who says when we take a break, Tablet. I can work this hard, so can you. <laughs> Disagrees with me? Look and suck it. If I didn't need you, I'd throw you in a lake. <laughs> yeah, rawr. is crying <laughs> yeah at first i thought this was my emotion a while back but no i think this is how the tablet feels right now like please i'm so tired i need to rest i'm like on my second battery charge <laughs> i have to plug it in again <laughs> turns off no
We're not done yet. We're so close. Can't stop, won't stop. Copy. My head movements and the shading with the head as it moves. Too much to ask. I'm actually going down in points. Well, it's, uh, you're trying to keep me company, so get that.
You may be strong, but I have to take a nap. No, you're fine, Echo. Go ahead and have your nap. Thanks for being here. I need I need a nap too. When's my turn? Oh, when's it my turn to have the nap? Everyone tired. Surrender for dad for the pet size. Can I go to sleep? Um, midnight? It wasn't too bad. I didn't stay up too late. Oh, right, because your dogs have been giving you problems with sleeping. Played a clear eight hours. I sure have. I don't know about going strong. My uh, my lower half is in worse pain. Actually, I might have to tap out just because uh, the pain's getting kind of bad. Not really worth it. Ugh. Your ice pack is getting kind of warm, but yeah, the uh. My lower body is crying. So I might have to tap out just because the pain is getting a little bit too much. Otherwise I would have been fine with going. But this is pretty long. I mean, I had a lot longer than anything else I've done. I did say I want to do a minimum of eight. So, but I mean, we did a lot. We got uh, everything colored and we got the render down. Now we just need to to render onto the angry emotion, which hopefully won't be too bad. Ugh. But yeah. Yeah. 
I'm gonna... Oof. Yeah, we're gonna... We're gonna call it good here. And, um... Uh, gonna... I think we're gonna raid out, too. Maybe. Now why not? Yeah, thank, thank you all who was here with me through all this. Um, uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for like uh, 200 followers. That's awesome. I'm really happy to have all of you here and all the support you guys give me. It's super duper appreciated. Um, I, um, oof, I had a lot of fun um, for the most part <laughs> doing this very long art stream. But you know, got a lot done. I'm kind of happy to show off. Happy to show off what I can do and all that stuff for people. Uh, I guess we'll raid. Uh, I'm gonna send you guys over to Lou. I don't get to raid Lou very much. I don't know when I'll next get this opportunity, so we're gonna do that. I know I kind of rated her recently, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so um, here's uh, you can here's the Discord if you guys ever want to join. That's where a lot of my uh, some behind the scenes stuff can, is released. Um, I have my Twitter for updates and whatnot, and then here's my Kofi if you're ever interested in commissioning me for art. Where my commissions are. Um, and don't forget your raid message! It's a dragon raid! Rawr! <laughs> um, so, uh, thank you all so much for being here with me today. Please follow if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you next time. <laughs>